Alright, we in this bitch for another fucking One of my favorite numbers. I was like, that's the most random Look, shit. nigga, I'm trying to start the shit I've off with a little heard. bit of, you know, a little banter or whatever. You want niggas to feel special about Yeah, I'm like, today. oh. Yeah, you feel oh, me? Oh, I, oh, I want niggas to be listening be like, damn, 138, that is important. You feel me? Yeah, like, like damn, I'm glad I'm here for this one. Like, damn, I don't know why, but I'm with you. I feel that. We like, getting close to, like, 150, though. That's that's a big number, I feel like. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah, 150, that's, that's lit. We getting close. Yeah. 12 more. And that's 12 weeks. That's a long ass time. But whatever. All right, let's get into it. Yo, what's good, everybody? It's the Storm Podcast, episode 138. I'm your host, Malcolm. I'm here with my boys. C2, you know what to do. It's your boy E, man. You already know what it is. You're, you're, you're. And we got Angel in the back working the cameras. As y'all can see, we're back with one, two cameras in this whole. For a while, we was back on our one camera shit. I just bought a new camera, so that's why we're looking so luscious and amazing. Angel got the angles right, lighting. We we looking pretty good. I feel like uh, I I feel amazing. Yeah, you you good, nigga? Yeah, <laughs> that lighting was hitting them like damn man. Yeah. <laughs> like, Let's go. Niggas is feeling right. We got lights in this bitch. Add a little natural lighting. Got the two cameras. I feel like we really we really in this bitch. Yeah, it, it's it's been a while since we had the two cameras too. So it's nice to have have two cameras again. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, it's just it gives a whole new element to the shit. Yeah. Yeah. New but, perspective. Exactly. But how y'all feeling? How was y'all weeks? It's been cold outside. Yeah, this has probably been the fastest up. switch up from hot to cold that I've experienced in no, my adult life. Last nigga. year, the last year right on Halloween, boom, it was it was frozen. Nigga. Yeah. That's true. It, <laughs> it was, was one day. It was no, one day. It wasn't day. even cold last year on Halloween. It no. was cold. It was cold. No, that might have been two years ago. Yeah, it wasn't even cold last year on Halloween. It's been a break, and it's all been like... But it's been like 30-something degrees together. all this week in Chicago, which has been fucking ass. Not fucking with that shit at all. That all sounds right. ass. What do you mean sounds ass? Nigga, you're here. <laughs> I don't be outside. <laughs> Nigga, you bike everywhere. <laughs> that is facts. I do. But I Didn't you bike here shit. today? Yeah, and that was treacherous. I didn't like that. <laughs> I didn't like that. This nigga, that sounds ass. That's a problem for y'all. No, nigga, that's a problem for all yeah, of us. Man, I'm always mean? hot. I'm cool. I'm no, good. that's that's one thing. That's how I know if people are here from here or not. Like mm. when you see somebody and they're like in the coat already, I'm like, yo, you better leave. <laughs> like, it low key it gets way worse than this. It takes a second to adjust. Like I'm really, I feel like I'm pretty good at handling the cold, just because I used to live in an apartment with absolutely no heat or AC. So I handle the cold relatively well. But it's the transition period where your body is used to being hot, yeah. and then you're going into being cold, and you like, damn, this transition ass. Because it was just like this period is trash because you wake up and in the morning it'll be fucking seventeen degrees. And then midday, it'll be like 70. And then at night again, it's back down to 32. Like, nigga can't even get the fit together right. Niggas is wearing shorts with a hoodie and yeah, sandals shit and shit. But ass. that's busted. Yeah, no, that's just <laughs> no, this is that. part of the I'm weather. You never going to catch me. I just that. dress like slightly warm. Like, you don't, have, you don't have to like crazy. You can wear a hoodie, some pants. Like, that, that is it. That's and true. you should last for the next three weeks until you get like, you know. I just Where, like hoodies. I was about to say, I'm just happy I get to bust my jackets back out. That's niggas I know need. I have loved hoodies since I fucking got my first one. Like, that's my shit, nigga. I throw a hoodie on anytime. Nigga, I be wearing hoodies in the summertime just when I get an opportunity to. I be like, damn, it's like 60? All right, word, let's get it. Yeah, I mostly just rock hoodies and sometimes some t-shirts, but. Oh, no, hoodies. man. I just, this is my favorite time of year. I love when it's getting cold. Yeah. Summer definitely the best season though. Nah, nah. I hate bugs. Uh -huh. I hate bugs. And when I'm outside now, there's no bugs. <laughs> it's got to decent. Summer definitely gets you right. I be in the summertime feeling good. Nah, you niggas you can... be cooling. All the most fun shit happened in the summer. Spider webs like what? everywhere, nigga. Like anything, nigga. <laughs> I hate bugs. Summertime is when niggas go on vacation. Summertime is when niggas got concerts. When at the world is open. I guess that's true, but you don't get all the good holidays. Nigga, don't nobody get a fuck about Halloween and Thanksgiving. Dang, Christmas. really wild. <laughs> I'm like, everybody Christmas? just look forward to Christmas. Christmas lit. And people give a fuck about Halloween. People definitely give a fuck about Bro, Halloween. Halloween is probably the least hype holiday out of all of them. 
Thanksgiving? Thanksgiving is definitely bigger than Halloween. I don't know about that. Halloween got Nigga, big. Niggas <laughs> travel across the country Halloween to meet with their family and Thanksgiving and shit. Halloween come and go. But that's kind of different. That's like family shit. Like everybody is going to go kick it with their niggas at Halloween. Niggas like their family more than they like ghosts and ghouls. I'm sorry. That's but just that's the, the truth. Thing. That's, but that's. A that, lot of people see, don't that's care. where there's cap. Because niggas like partying yeah. more than they like chilling with their family. <laughs> like, yeah, it's not a lot of Thanksgiving <laughs> family shit be up. parties, nigga. No, no. no. What you, who, <laughs> be grandma, who do you know? Grandma brought over a can of right. fucking. That's what I'm thinking. Like, who are you going to call bullshit. up in your family like, yo, we getting lit. Like, no, it's Thanksgiving. <laughs> Y'all ain't never met my nigga Noah then, apparently, because them niggas get lit for any Labor Day. It's turn. <laughs> Bust it. Groundhog Day is going down. You turn up Nigga, they be lit. At, and this nigga. And that's busting them. Like, they they just care about the holiday. Bro, I'm not trying to spend this whole time talking about Noah, but this nigga ain't never missed a family event ever. It don't matter what we got going down. I be like, hey, no, you trying to kick it today? We, Jacob about to graduate. Nigga be like, nah, I'm sorry, bro. It's. <laughs> It's Labor Day. Fuck you. It's Columbus Day. You know we about to go turn it up. Like, nigga, what? Come on now. <laughs> turn it up a couple notches. Yeah, come on, bro. You didn't know it's Indigenous People's Day? Um, hey, Martin Luther King birthday. We about to get, we going down to Miami. What, nigga? It's lit. Some niggas get lit for holidays. Damn. Thanksgiving is definitely above Halloween in the holiday spectrum. I don't, I don't know. know. I don't know about that one. I see way more people hyped for Halloween than- For sure. Thanksgiving. Nah. Niggas Nobody's only be hyped about Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving the day of. Yeah, right. They're like people Nobody's spend like, full ah. weeks like, oh my god, it's spooky season. Like yeah, everybody, right. <laughs> like they spend like all October of October is, is spooky, yeah, spooky season. season. <laughs> like every and I, nobody we, care about Thanksgiving until like the week of. Yeah. Like yo, you gonna be home? And it's everybody asking their homies like, right, yo. Like, that's what, it. Yeah, yeah, Black Friday bigger. Than yeah, Black, Friday. Black Friday is Thanksgiving. <laughs> Fuck you, mean? No, it's, it's the same the day shit. After. Nah, it's, it's the day, day after. after. Nigga, no, Christmas Eve is not as big as Christmas. You go out. That's that's Black Friday. Let's put this shit to a vote, listeners. Let us know in the fucking comments. Do you prefer what's the bigger holiday, Thanksgiving or Halloween? I'm telling you. It's fucking Thanksgiving, dog. I can guarantee that people are gonna vote for Halloween. It's Thanksgiving. No, it's Thanksgiving unless you're twelve, nigga. Like, no, that's the thing. It it does not stop at twelve. Adults dress up. They don't go trick or treating, but they're gonna dress yeah, out. Yeah, people. Gonna go out and people party. completely cover their house and shit. Right. Like nobody doing that shit for like, Thanksgiving. Does they that throw that the little gore, the gourd out on the fucking porch, <laughs> <Right. laughs> nigga. nigga. It'd be like you. Don't, you don't see no inflatable a little turkeys. Like no. You do though. Don't nobody put those out for real. That's bad. Bad cash. Bad cash. Well, no, you gonna see. You gonna see like three. Bad cash. Did it already? I can bet that you'll see a few, but not that many. Uh, if you go you on bet Halloween, that you'll see you everything. Checked out at more. House Houses that had Halloween decorations that had Thanksgiving. Well, yeah, yeah. Come on, man. Thanksgiving isn't a decorate type holiday. And hella niggas love Halloween. <laughs> like, right. a, I got tell you, niggas love food, bro. Nigga, the, niggas, niggas love candy. Get, yeah, I'm like, niggas get candy. <laughs> you, you put candy <laughs> over food. Niggas, a lot of people do. But see, that's the thing. <laughs> nah, like, really what? getting food on Thanksgiving. Every, people do all types of shit on Halloween. Nigga, no, 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 no. Yeah, I'm, not, I'm not letting you get that. No. Cause the food, the food ain't just for Thanksgiving. The food is for Thanksgiving and the next week, nigga. That's true. That's, That's true. you feasting, nice having, bro, having and you feasting, and you seeing all your family that you fuck with. You that, that feast really is about three days. Yeah, keep it real, nigga. Stop eating that food after three days. Not it, it'd be like you might come back to the turkey a week and a half. Yeah, like, turkey, is ass. Ass. turkey is ass. The turkey ass. don't so. stay long. The yeah. ham is gone. You're, you're, the, the ham gone. was gone the day like, of. The right. ham was gone the day of. The mac and cheese uh, gone. That, that shit, shit is fire. gone. All the good shit is bit out the window, and Dude, then it's that, all the shit that you. Roll it down and you like, damn, right. I might eat the sweet potatoes. Like right. we still got a little cranberry <laughs> sauce. Ain't nobody like, eating that. Ain't nobody eating Man. that. Shit for real. Niggas is bugging. I definitely got Thanksgiving over Halloween. I'm just saying on camera. No, but no, Moggs is definitely dressing up. And yeah, going outside. But people taking pictures of that. Yeah, I'm kids. like, you get to just go out and take pictures. Like people do all types of shit for Halloween. Yeah. You go to the club dressed up randomly. I still got Thanksgiving above. I, I think I think I got Thanksgiving above. We're gonna have to put it to a vote. Let us know what you got Thanksgiving or Halloween. It's definitely Thanksgiving, but whatever. It's not. Nigga, 
niggas is bugging, but spooky you sound season, old bro. for real. <laughs> <laughs> Me, you, nigga. Sound, you sound old. And you sound twelve. Kids are gonna go out and get lit for Halloween. Yeah, Regardless nigga. of age. It doesn't matter if you are tiny or like 12 18, to 25, you to you're bussy. Right. Okay, okay. <laughs> 12 to 25, you live for Halloween. Nigga, zero to death, you live for Thanksgiving with No. The- nigga, you, no. you, you ever live for Thanksgiving? A, seven, a seven-year-old is like, man, this fucking dinner blows. Right. No, like, they're not going to sit I, I hate like- all of my cousins. <laughs> this shit is sucks Okay, ass. have you ever missed a Thanksgiving? Yes. You're lying. Yes. What Thanksgiving you missed? Last one. You, <laughs> we ain't do shit. <laughs> like, we, my mom made food. <laughs> like, this nigga didn't miss food. no th- You went to your mom's house. Then, nigga, that's not, uh, it wasn't lit. There no, was it was food. Not like Halloween. <laughs> there was food. <laughs> it you didn't miss lit. Halloween's before. Nigga, I didn't miss Thanksgiving's before. You nigga. ain't never missed no Thanksgiving. Nigga, just because I ate the day of. <laughs> that's what the <laughs> fucking shit is, nigga. <laughs> the, that shit does not mean know. anything. I'm like. It's too easy to not miss Thanksgiving. You you literally because it's worldwide, but nigga. No, that's you know it's not. You can miss the whole, <laughs> no, you can miss the whole day and be there for dinner, and you were there for He's Thanksgiving. To exactly. Falsify information. Exactly. No. Oh no. my god, niggas just trying to falsify information. That shit is not worldwide, nigga. That shit transcends <laughs> this is not the states. Yeah, right. That shit lit. It's lit in all fifty states. Man, Thanksgiving lit. I don't give a fuck about what nobody else say. But how the fuck was the rest of your week? Well, uh, it was cool. I went out for Halloween. I went out as Fred. Y'all saw me last week. I was lit. Gang. Um, Nothing really trim. I really like. I have to watch what I'm eating, man. I'm getting old. What you mean? Well, I was eating and my stomach was just fucked up, man. I was just so damn bad. I should be fine. <laughs> I just can't. I got to watch it. Because I'm like, I don't know what it is that's getting me. <laughs> that's the worst. Luckily, I don't have no type of allergies or nothing like that. So I'd be cooling. Yeah. I ain't got no allergies for the most part either. Like, I've been allergic to cats as I got older. Yeah. I was about to say, I don't think I have any food allergies, but I might be allergic to cats. Yeah. Cats what, Matthew's cats vicious. be fucking you up? Yeah. Vicious. I, I didn't realize until I went to one of my friends' house and they had cats and I was dying over there too. And I was like. Maybe it's just cats. Like, yeah, I I'd might be have cooling. allergic to cats, but I don't wow. think I have any food allergies. That I shit eat them everything. Shit, I'd be cooling. How was your week? E? My week was pretty cool. A lot of movie theater shit. I fucking hate it over there. I'm finna leave. <laughs> I'm tired of Where that. Where you going, Damn, nigga? nigga? You can't just quit just to quit. <laughs> <laughs> nigga, yeah, I can't. Yeah, you no. about to put yourself no, in the same no, problem was, you was in before. I was playing. No, I'm, I'm going to make sure not to do that because I don't want to be jobless. Fuck that shit. <laughs> that, shit. that shit is not it. I was in that bitch broke. Right. That's trash. But, no, nah, I'm going to probably go over to this other, like, bakery place. They needed a dishwasher, and they paying, like, $16 an hour. So, I was like, decent, decent as hell. <laughs> I know Bono right down there paying $16 an hour. I, just I think know. they pay 15 maybe. Yeah. I don't know how many hours they got though, so I'm gonna probably check that place out too. But I definitely want to quit my job because damn, the movie theater fucking sucks. How Have you been bad? capitalizing on your free movies? How is it bad no, though? I haven't. I do kind of need to do that, nigga. Like if you get free movies, you can low key run a bag up off of just free movies. But that's the thing. Not too many good things have been out. Eternals just came out today. Yeah, that I think it was out yesterday. What about I, Dune? I don't know, but that yeah. shit look ass. What's up, Dune? I heard that I, shit was terrible. Really? I heard that shit. I heard it was one good. of my I niggas who I trust. Good, I don't know what it is for real because I know it was a book. I never read. Yeah, the book. me neither. I don't know what the fuck it is. I See, just... I heard that. Uh, okay, most niggas told me it was trash. One nigga that I thoroughly trust his recommendation told me it was good. But for the most part, I think you have to read the book to enjoy the movie. Like niggas uh, been like a couple niggas been like, "Yo, yeah, I heard it was based off a book, but watching this movie made me want to never read the book." So yeah, like I'll go into each movie for like. 10 minutes just out of boredom and like it's it seems like a pretty boring movie mm. so what's so bad about working at the movie theater though i don't uh, i don't like the people that much it's just your co-workers yeah I, and it's it's a pretty boring job like yeah i get to go in movies from time to time but like especially in the morning it's dead as fuck you can't leave the concession stand like you just have to sit there you can't be on your phone you literally just got to sit there. Wait, do you be getting the movie posters? What do you mean? Oh, like the ones that they hang up? And yeah. Stuff? No. Like, can you? I don't. I've never asked, but I don't. Ask think for so. them bitches. <laughs> I don't really. <laughs> like, the My Hero movie poster would be raw to have. We don't have that at Lake. Oh, for real? No, we didn't have My Hero. 
Damn. Well, never we mind. Ain't got nothing good. <laughs> that shit garbage. I guess y'all don't have no good movie post. Yeah, Get the I'm Dune like, movie post. It's Lake. I don't give no fuck, fuck about shit. Dune. Yeah, no, nah, that shit <laughs> like, garbage. The best one I might get. They not gonna let me have that shit. But Eternals, like that shit'll be hard. They not gonna let me. Have the that bus. Shit. I didn't see the movie, so I don't even know if it's good or not. It I looks kind of garbage, if I'm being honest. Yeah, it really doesn't look that good. But I mean, you I know. don't feel like anyone actually cares about the Eternals just in like the scope of Marvel. Yeah, I don't feel like the Eternals are crazy popular. I know a little bit about them, but I don't know. I don't have like a vast amount of knowledge on the Eternals themselves. I feel like I've like made it in my mind to where I don't like the Eternals because like what the fuck did they do for the Marvel universe at all? Well, they are like out in the cut. I know that. Oh, okay. And it's still ignorant to me <laughs> cuz I'm like like what 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 was their excuse for Thanos? Like I I think and I once again, I don't know a lot and I especially don't know about the MCU Eternals, but I'm pretty sure part of their job is to not get involved in shit like that. Mm, it just seems ignorant because why are you involved now with these little monsters we don't know what the fuck these things are well I, once again i don't know i haven't yeah. seen the movie but i'm pretty sure it's gonna be like damn we not involved we not supposed to be involved but i feel like that's the right thing to do and i feel like part of the movie is gonna be a battle of like no we can't do this this isn't what we're supposed to do we can't get involved in these affairs and it's like nah th- this is the right thing to do this is my prediction because i haven't seen it yet i might go see it after this today but who knows yeah, that's possible. But yeah, work was cool. Streaming has been pretty lit. That's pretty fun. I've been streaming with you know you, Gang. Uh, Noah, Caleb, all of them. That was gang them, ganging them. I had Kalia on there one day. That was kind of fun. So I've gotten a few other people like in stream. Like my average viewership has gone up a lot. So oh, what is it? I think it's like four now. Okay. So, that's decent. Yeah, so. that's pretty good. Nah, I definitely had a fun time on the Among Us streams. That shit was good. It was fun to bring that shit back and just have a good ass time with the whole gang. Yeah. A lot of idiocy. Yeah, a lot of a dumb lot motherfuckers, of bro. Shit. Like <laughs> just a lot of stupid niggas, man. So that shit was annoying as hell, but it was still very fun. It's a hard like it's hard when you play with the right people. No, no, no. It would be if niggas would think. But, but motherfuckers <laughs> just be like, I don't know. I'm going to just get a vote and niggas to just cuss. Like, Sometimes you kind of have to do that. That's the best Number thing. one, the vote time be short as hell. That's the reason time. why I lost most of my rounds. <laughs> Nigga, if <laughs> niggas like, just stopped and thought, we would be all right. Like, if niggas were just like, hmm, let me think for a second. Oh, shit. Yeah, <laughs> logic. No, niggas be like, fuck all that. You know what? <laughs> It can't be him. Why? I just feel like it's not. <laughs> no, that Both was this crazy. nigga. I didn't like, see they were clearing like people time. who had no evidence and had no reason to be clear. I just be looking at the camera like this cannot be real, bro. <laughs> like, ain't no, cause I know every nigga that's in the lobby is a smart nigga. I, I'm I'm friends with smart people, but I be like, yo, y'all are dumb as shit, bro. This shit is crazy. Yeah, nah, that was that was pretty crazy, man. I, Fuck y'all niggas, bro. We we did decent whenever we were like crew. Yeah, out of luck. The only ones we won were luck, nigga. I don't know about that. I think we did Any, pretty decent as crew. 90% of the times the crew won, it was just because the imposter was dumber. Like, it was literally <laughs> just a battle of who could be more stupid. I was sitting there losing brain cells the entire fucking time bro there were some pretty dumb plays like there would be bodies just like laying around and nobody would see them bro niggas was just walking over bodies and being like and then niggas would be confused like <laughs> like niggas would be playing well and get voted out just off of luck bro like the imposters have won off of luck bro uh, yeah <laughs> go watch this shit back on my twitch or e-man's twitch yeah, it's go just check out it's idiocy, bro. For just straight idiocy. Dumb shit. We <laughs> Man, <laughs> that all for your week, though? Uh, Yeah, I mean, I played, Uh, what was that? I played a little bit of Demon Slayer. That was pretty Long lit. Hinakami. New, new characters coming out soon. So oh, them demons that look lit. Yeah. yeah. Oh, you just don't have them? I got them. Oh, so what I, are you talking I about? I practice with them. I haven't played, like, online. With oh, them that's yet. what you mean by new characters. Yeah. Oh, so okay, okay. I'm going to definitely play with them. Since How many? It's just Akaza they, and Right now, it's just Akaza Rui? and Rui. Rui? Yeah. yeah. Um, they look OP. They are. I feel like they got balanced out pretty well, though. They did get balanced out because apparently you can't use other people with them. Yeah, they can't have supports. Yeah, so it's Um, just them. And then they also get less specials or something like that, right? Or something like that. They have Their specials are different somehow. Yeah, it is different somehow. 
I forgot how, but I know that when they use, they have boost and surge. I know whenever they surge, they can regain life back, which I think is pretty OP. I don't fuck with that. They need to take that shit out. Well, can't they only regain life when they're like have some space? Like, yeah. I, th- I don't think you can gain life just exponentially. Yes, but that seems almost too easy because I haven't played a lot with Rui, but with Akaza, there's already a lot of like offensive pressure. So if you're blocking, it's pretty easy to bl- break through a block. And if I break through the block and knock you down and run away, I can just regain my life. Mm. So that seems pretty OP. I don't know. We haven't seen how it really works yet. Hopefully it's balanced. I don't know. But that does seem pretty fun. They did release the other characters. I think it's the eye guy. I forgot their names. Dang. The eye guy. The dude with the eyes on his hands, with the arrows. Oh, really? Yeah. Him. I feel like he was a small part in the show. Yeah, but it's him and Yamaha. So it's like. That's the girl with the dodgeballs? Yeah. That was, she was yeah. hard. She was hard. So it's both of them. They have the the flamboyant dude. Flamboyant dude. He says flamboyant a lot. The 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 uh He's Hashira. a demon? Hashira. Oh, you talk about the uh is that the crying nigga? No, the the stone nigga, right? The crying nigga is the stone nigga. I think he's sound. The crying nigga is the stone nigga? Yes. I thought the crying nigga was the one with the big ass beads on his neck. Yeah, that's the that's Oh he's yeah. stone? Oh yeah. I, I don't know enough about the Hashira. The dude with the diamond headband. No, those are two different people, I believe. Yeah, it's two different people. Oh, you're telling yeah. me that. The oh, Sam okay, Hasha okay, is okay. The one with the, the diamond head. Got it, got it. Yeah, I think that he's getting put in the game soon, and yeah, that's, I think there's two other demons are getting. Oh, the uh, the hand, the talking hand, Mugen Train guy. Uh, he's getting added. The train. Yeah, the train. <laughs> yeah, so I know he's getting added, but I'm excited to see how the rest of these demons fight. My bad, and I'm excited for the new gameplay. Gang, gang. That's what's up, man. Good also, to gotta get Guardians of the Galaxy. I don't know when, but it looks insanely fun. All right, shit. I'm with it. Yeah. Bet it up. Uh, no, nah, my week was pretty cool. My birthday was this week. Thank you to every fucking listener or every person who wished me happy birthday. I'm going to be honest. In my 23 years, damn, I'm 23 years old, of living, this is probably my best birthday so far. That shit was fucking busting. It was lit. Just a lot of love that was shown. A lot of just good energy. I just had a blast. Like it was, it was super cool. I went to breakfast with my niggas, bro. Niggas went to the pancake house. Come on, man. Niggas, niggas don't know about the pancake house, bro. I I forgot about the pancake house. So man, pancakes I ain't so been good. there in a minute, nigga. Everything was fucking amazing. I, bro, when we left, I wanted to go back. Like <laughs> we had left and just got back to the studio, and I was like, y'all trying to. Go back to the pancake house, <laughs> and nigga was like, "Nah, nah, I'm like, all right, whatever." Cause that shit is, the, bro. Shout out to the original pancake house, y'all niggas are actually lit, like straight up fire. But yeah, no, birthday was super cool. A lot of love showed from just like listeners, family. I was very shocked at how many listeners wished me happy birthday, because I'm like, damn, these niggas actually give a fuck enough to know when my birthday is and like hit me up and say happy birthday and i don't know that was just a very very cool thing for me that was dope i i just yeah that was i'm still like in shock you know like shit like that just (laughs) throws me off because it's just such a surreal feeling that people genuinely listen to what we say care about what we do every week and care about us as individuals and that shit is amazing because there was a point in time where nobody gave a fuck about our podcast. And I'm not trying to say it like we're rich and famous and huge now, but it's just crazy because there was a point where no one gave a fuck. And now people actually do give a fuck. And that's a really cool feeling because we really do put blood, sweat and tears into this shit and put a lot of fucking effort. This shit is time consuming. Nigga, 138 episodes is a fucking lot. We've gone over two years without missing an episode like that is ridiculous niggas don't do that shit bro so i am just grateful for everybody y'all are super awesome and i'm very appreciative of that shit and nigga the shit not over we about to turn up on sunday and have a good ass fucking time this shit is going to be busting i'm very lit i'm very excited to go I, i'm still waiting on my bets man we gotta bet on somebody getting hurt <laughs> <laughs> i thought about it a little bit more and it might be you 
You might fuck around and get yeah. hurt. I'm not going to do no <laughs> dumb shit. Yeah. See, I got a plan. I'm going to stand my ass off to the side and wait for a nigga to get hurt. That way my likelihood of getting hurt is down. I'm definitely going to do <laughs> some dumb shit, yeah. but... Damn, nigga, you, you do some nigga, nigga, <laughs> agree <laughs> fast as hell. I don't know if you're gonna get hurt. I was thinking like, yo, who's gonna fuck around and get hurt? I was like, I know Malcolm's gonna do some dumb shit, but I don't know if he's gonna get hurt. That's the thing. That's I'm a durable nigga. <laughs> like, <laughs> I'm pretty durable. So, and if I do get hurt, I'm the type to just power through it, and nobody even know anyway. So, and I'm the type of person if I get hurt, I won't even know till the next day. So I feel like I'll be alright because I'm definitely gonna do some dumb shit, but. I think I'd be I in doing the dumb shit. And I'm 50-50. I, I don't know. <laughs> it it yeah. all depends on what go down. I'm I just got to see who there, like, and then uh, I'll start casting my back. <laughs> 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 I'll be like, it's got to be this nigga. <laughs> I'll be like, look at him. He's already fucked up. <laughs> nah, this um, shit is going to be so fun, prepared. bro. I am very excited. This shit is just going to be a lot of fucking fun. So shout out to everybody who's going to be pulling up. Mm-hmm. It's going to be cool. I'm going to try to vlog. I just got this new camera, so I'm going to try to vlog that day get some good action posted because I do want the people who aren't nearby and the listeners and everybody to be able to also be a part of this experience. I'm also going to go live and shit too. Just, it's just going to be a cool last day. So I'm very, very, very excited for that. That's going to, shit's going to be awesome. It was just a dope birthday. Oh, and I went to dinner with, uh, all of my family. Nigga. What's that? Where was you at? I was out. <laughs> <laughs> I was out. The niggas is devious. <laughs> Nigga, I had my birthday dinner. I'm like, oh man, I'm about to go to dinner with my mom, both of my brothers, my girlfriend. It's gonna be awesome. Like, just some great family time. Like, I just, I just love them so much, and I, I love how they, they always support me in spending time with them. Nigga hit me up and say, hey, what time are we going to dinner? Not to mention, he picked the time we were going to dinner the day before. <laughs> so I was like, I was like, six o'clock. He said, you know what? Let me read it. I- I'll read. <laughs> Let me read the text thread that this bitch ass nigga sent me on my fucking birthday, hey, bro. Man, I didn't know the work was going to be running like that. And then I had stuff bro, afterward. He said, <laughs> what time were you going to do dinner? I said 6 p.m. I don't think I can make it because I got to go to Chuck E. Cheese at five and totally forgot. I said, bro, shut up. Cause I'm like, <laughs> I'm like this nigga's clearly joking. What the fuck? <laughs> he said, I'm dead serious. I said, wait, what? Nigga said, I'm so for real. I say, why? Elijah's birthday was yesterday and we couldn't make it. So he said he wanted to go to Chuck E. Cheese today. Nigga, is Elijah your brother? No, but I figured we were doing the extreme trampolines thing. So I was like, okay, we're <laughs> celebrating his birthday. Nigga, I'm trying to go to dinner with my family, have a nice, fun, intimate moment with the family, and you didn't even pull up. I was expecting the extreme trampolines thing to be an intimate moment with family. Matthew going to be there. Nigga. I'm assuming mom was going to pull up. I don't know. <laughs> like, this nigga just out here wilding, bro. I'm crying. Hey. <laughs> this nigga said, I got to go to Chuck E. Cheese. <laughs> right. Hey. But like, this nigga picked Chuck E. Cheese over Papa Do's. First off, that shit was amazing. Nigga, have y'all ever been before? I was like, I don't know what Papa Do's is. Nigga, that Ooh. was... Nigga, I almost cried that food was so good, bro. What is Papa Do's? What do they have? They got seafood and shit like that. Uh, bro, nigga, appetizer was the crab cakes. And then I got this, um, I got this, like, Mardi Gras pasta or some shit, bro. Nigga, that shit was so fucking good, bro. That shit had crab, shrimp, sausage. That shit was going crazy. Alexis got some shrimp and grits. That shit went crazy because you know I had to get some, obviously. Bro, mom got some good ass pasta. I had a little bit of that. That shit was good. Matthew got a crab cake that he didn't like. I had that shit. That shit was good. <laughs> Nigga, everything about that shit was fire. And you were just complaining that you ain't never go to no fancy restaurant. You had the opportunity to nigga the each meal was like. And maybe I'm broke, but each meal was like thirty five plus dollars. That That's shit was expensive. Wild. And you didn't get none. That's a Look at you. I don't know if I would have got shit if I pulled up. Yeah, I, I was sitting there like hesitant. I was like whole time, I, I don't even want to order. Mom was like, no, like it's your birthday. Go ahead. And I'm like, shit. <laughs> <laughs> this shit is expensive, but fuck it. Nah, that shit was good as fuck. Yeah, that shit would have hurt my pockets. Nigga, we didn't pay. Mom paid. Mom paid for everybody? Yeah, nigga. 
that's wild. But hey, that's dope. Go crazy. Yeah, you you missed the opportunity. You said you was eating Chuck E. Cheese pizza and touching <laughs> dirty ass, <laughs> hey man, dirty ass balls and shit like yeah, that in the ball game, pit, nigga. Balls, balls. <laughs> <laughs> nigga. I wasn't the one doing it. <laughs> oh, no, I wasn't either. I can't. <laughs> <laughs> I, oh I wasn't the one doing it. Nah, bro. Fuck all that. Man, yeah. Also, shout out to Alexa. She got me these uh these ones. I'm fucking with or not the. She got me the Air Force ones. I'm fucking with these bitches. And she also got me another birthday present that I'm a I'm a pop out with in the uh at oh. the birthday party. You oh, that's how decent. Yeah, no, nah, I'm a I'm a pop out, nigga. I felt like your feet were a little bit too big for ones, to be honest. Look, nigga, I mean, I'm a size 14. My feet are a little too big for everything, bro. Like, yeah. not really. But bro, <laughs> nigga, like, my feet is just big, bro. There's nothing I can do. This nigga oh, zoomed in on the feet. <laughs> hey, get him. Yo, if you not watching the video, go check this shit. This nigga just zoomed in on my feet. I mean... <laughs> <laughs> they a little they long, little big. They a little long, <laughs> they a little man. Big. A little long. I got, I got some long feet, man. Ain't big shit I can really do about it, bro. No, they heat zone, though. They boy. heat. They heat. I oh, mean, boy. I'm fucking with them. I ain't never had nothing like this before, so I'm out here heavy stepping on them now. Were, were you satisfied with your birthday gifts? Uh, yeah. Nick got me, bro. Shout out to my boy Alchi. Y'all know that nigga is always above and beyond when it comes to. Supreme, being a friend, being a friend <laughs> supreme, everything. This nigga hit me up the day after I was getting off of work, and I called him just to tell him a dumbass story that happened at work. He was like, "Hey, bro, like you just got off work?" I was like, "Yeah." He lives right across, like real close to Target. He was like, "Slide to the crib." I slid over, bro. This nigga gave me. Did I bring it today? Ah, oh, no, I didn't wear it today. But he brought me a um Supreme Timberland collab, like coat, like a winter coat. It's reversible, <laughs> nigga. The shit is nice. That bro. sounds yeah. fine. Nah, and like that shit is drip That's check. Record homie. me, nigga. No, nah, that that nigga Ouchie is a homie for real. Like he has given me that coat and another um baseball tee that y'all see me wear. Like, dude, it, that that's my guy. I've, I've given him a couple like you know free almost drip, but that you know almost better than Supreme. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> but I mean, some would say it is. <laughs> exactly. But yeah, nah. Shout out to my boy Ouchie. That's my guy. Overall. Just a super dope birthday. Shout out to everybody who has been fucking with the pie and fucking with me. And we are lit. This next year, bro, when I turn 24, this shit about to be a whole different ball game, nigga. Pockets going to look different. Numbers is going to look different. At, whole life is going to be different at the 24 mark. I'm telling you, bro. Niggas is about to really go hard as shit and make some shit happen. Look, I was just thinking like 19th and a rock. I'm with that. Damn, you're a really young as fuck, huh? <laughs> you just old as fuck. Like, I, I, I agree. 50, nah. You're like just old as fuck. I agree with you, bro. Like, niggas. Like, whenever I look at, like, me and Matthew's time and then me and your time, like, it's mad separated. I mean, yeah, we, we're not twins, so yeah, the time would be is, different. That is very that's true. Only, like, it's really only four years. <laughs> that's yeah, a lot, though. That's a lot. Yeah. That's not a lot. If I had four years blew by, <laughs> four, four, four years will blow by a random nigga. Man, <laughs> like, but if I, when I have kids, I do want to keep them all as close as possible. I do like the age between me, you, and Matthew. I feel like that's pretty good. But, like, you know, I just like that we're all close in age. That's pretty cool to me. Yeah. Like, two years each is pretty... Like, I don't even think you and Matthew are full two years, and I don't think me and Matthew are full two years. So, that yeah. I like that gap right there. That's, like, perfect. Yeah. Knowing Caleb damn near the same age, like... <laughs> Loki. That's a good-ass just space in between. Like, siblings that are just mad old from each other, no offense to anybody who has this or whatever, but I feel like sometimes you don't get that... And I can't say the full sibling experience because I only know my sibling experience. Yeah. But I feel like... When your siblings are like 11, 12 years older than you. Oh, yeah. You're, yeah. That's not the it, same. It's dynamic. not the same dynamic. Yeah. Like, yeah. it's almost a little parenty in a way. Like, and I mean, I have to be a little parenty to my little brothers, and they're only two and four years younger than me. So I can only imagine having like, a know, little brother who's 10 years younger than me. Yeah. You know, like, yeah. That's like, damn, I really got to take care of this nigga for real. Yeah. So that's that's always an interesting, I don't know, just thinking about that is an interesting dynamic. I'm very glad that I have brothers, though, and I'm very glad that my brothers are similar age to me. I, I think there could also be a dynamic that is missed, like, amongst having brothers that are the same age as you. What because you of having a, like, a, like a significant 
age difference in brothers mm-hmm. or like even an elder sister or something like that. Right. And having somebody to look up to. That's and true. Th- that could be like, oh, well, he was playing basketball when I was young. I used to go to his games. It made me want to go play basketball. Right. It, it'll make you like, and it, I think having an elder like sibling always, like my dad raised my cousins. Mm-hmm. So like he, they were around me a lot, and they were way older than me. Like, they're both about to be 30. Damn. So, like, I'm used to, like, playing people who are older than me. Right. And getting used to, like, not always being with my age group of friends. Right. So, like, I learned how to interact with older people way easier because it was, like, that yeah. was it was natural. That's true. I just, like, I definitely know that I want to have at least – two kids you know like i feel like i have to have uh, they I, gotta I, have siblings bro. i wanted i want exactly when my dad got three boys <laughs> I, would rather, I would rather have girls than boys personally I, I don't know i feel like i feel like my molding skills would be better for the boys like the, i just feel like with yeah. a girl i would be lost yeah i'd be too lost i, 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 I feel like i would be lost and that, that's just personal like that's i definitely true. think i could have a girl in like it's not like I'm going to not love her because right. she's a girl. Yeah. <laughs> right. It's, it's just going to be a lost dynamic. I definitely feel like I'm going to be way softer. Like, because I'm just, <laughs> I'm just going to. I would rather have I, a daughter because daughters are normally girl. closer than to their fathers. And, you know, sons are normally close. Like, when you know what I'm saying? When they grow up, like, the, a daughter's going to take care of you when you grow up. The son's not doing that shit. Like, sons be like, nigga, you cool. Like, you, you, you'll be all right, nigga. Every, <laughs> That's everything what I be need. cool. And then, <laughs> and then, you know, like, sometimes in we do live in a different era and we do know more than our parents knew, but there is a lot of, uh, competition between like black fathers and black sons, you know, that I've just seen in my life throughout the people that I know. And just like the overall competition and there being like a lot of issue intent. And I'm not, if I have a son, I'm going to make sure that this isn't a thing. And also a lot of people say that raising boys is easier than raising girls, but it's because niggas don't raise boys. You feel me? Like everybody's just like, yo, he's a boy. Fuck that nigga's emotions. <laughs> like he don't, he, he don't have no like. Stop crying. <laughs> Do, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, fix up. Like guys have <laughs> just as many doing. emotions as girls and things like that, but that's not something that's cared for. So there is more or less a little bit more guidance in how to raise girls because people have been raising girls for generations. Now I feel like people are just now starting to learn how to raise boys. And while that would be more difficult, um, obviously I would be up for the challenge because I do, whoever my kids are going to be, they're going to be successful and I'm going to raise them in the best way that I know possible and learn more to raise them even better than I know possible right now. But I would personally just rather have girls because I feel like it'd just be a cool-ass dynamic. Yeah, I, d- I definitely, I don't know why, but like the image of having three boys is just like, precisely what my dad had and i was like i feel like i was like it would be a fuckload of fun having like just three mini me's running around or three yeah. like <laughs> just three little dickheads <laughs> like, See, like, I, i'm trying to have a black lightning like, i'm like, trying to have the, the two girls black lightning he got two daughters like that's that's the fire way i'm i'm with that shit you feel me that's what's up. No, you need, said you don't want kids, I need, right? I need <laughs> like none at I, all. Like I need me a yeah. boy. I feel like maybe in the future it might happen, but do I want one right now? No, not right now. Well, yeah, right? I'm, I'm not saying. I'm saying like, <laughs> do I want moment. one in the future right now? No. Can but I ask why not? Future me might want one in the future. Can I ask why not? I don't like kids. You don't like kids at all. <laughs> I don't like kids. Kids every, can be very every young irritating. kid that I know. I don't really like. So it's just fuck my kids then. Then that's different. That's that's your kids. I've definitely met you. Not gonna like them. Cool. I might. <laughs> I might. That's like that's hey, the hey, thing. Hey, like, at least he's keeping it real. Not as a fact. Yeah, exactly. like, he could have lied to you. Me, yeah, I'm your brother. I'm gonna take care of him. I'm gonna do what the fuck I gotta do. It's, nigga, I'm not calling you up now. Uh, but I'm just saying, like, <laughs> it depends on what happens. If you raise two little dickheads, then I'm, bro. What y'all doing? Back up. Like, that's how it is. You not invited to Thanksgiving, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> you just lost your spot. But it's hey, cool. Man. You still got Halloween. True facts. True facts. <laughs> you gonna pull up trick or treat, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> like, 
nigga. Trick your ass out the fucking door. Get out my house, nigga. <sighs> nah, man. But other than that, like, my week has been pretty cool. It's just been a lot of work and shit like that. Oh, new Almost merch got here for the motherfuckers who want to see. Y'all know we got the Almost Lovers merch. Niggas got the... Do you dig? This shit gonna be here very soon for those who want it. It's also big on the back. I don't know if y'all can see it, but I'm gonna I'm hit the little. Y'all know what it is for the niggas watching the video. We mm, really. Spark- oh no! Crazy. Is damn. it sparkly? No. Nah. Oh, it looks sparkly. I was like, damn. Oh no, that's just the good lighting that we oh, have. Oh, you feel me? That's that's the it's new crazy. lighting. Shit, shit, shining. But yeah, nah. Uh, very excited to release that. It seems like a lot of people have been hyped for that too. I got another design that's gonna be dropping with it, but. That shit is going to be very dope. That should be coming very soon. I'm not going to give an exact date, but if everything goes right, hopefully y'all will have that by next week. Shout out to the Almost Lovers merch. That shit, that shit is hot. And I got some really dope stuff in the works also. So if y'all really support this Almost Lovers shit that's about to drop, I promise y'all the shit that's going to come after is going to be so fucking raw i got so much dope shit in the cut so if y'all support this shit i promise i got y'all with some even better shit bro like the next shit i got is so damn hard y'all gonna love it that's what's up gang gang but y'all ready to get into topics yeah new travis scott travis scott dropped a little ep um what's it called i want to say it was called utopia nigga no was that the song his album is gonna be called utopia oh really Yes, wild nigga. Wild wild wild. The EP is called. You go to it be Utopia. Nah, it's definitely not. <laughs> I I know that for a fact. Why is this shit not showing up? Oh, here we go. Oh, it's just called es- Escape Plan Slash Mafia. Damn, uh, nigga didn't give it a name. That's lame. But the songs are called Escape Plan and Mafia. I listen to both of them. As y'all know, I'm not the biggest Travis Scott fan in the world. I wasn't super crazy about them. To uh, Being as objective as I could, I wasn't crazy about the first one. The second one was better. I liked the second one better than the first one. I also agree with that. But, I mean, it was it was what I expected. It was very Travis Scott-esque. Are you a Travis Scott fan? I wouldn't call myself a fan. If he drops something, I'll listen to it. That's really it. So you don't go, what? okay, let, let's have this conversation. What is you guys' definition of a fan? I will re-listen to your music. Re-listening to your music is all it takes to be a fan, in your opinion. In, if you asked me if I was a trippy red fan, mm-hmm. I don't really care for his music, but he has a few songs that I'll go back and listen to, so I'd probably say, yeah, sure, I'm a fan. Okay, C2, what about you? What's your definition of a fan? Um, a fan is somebody who's actually going to, like, who's waiting on a drop, waiting on... I, th- I think, of like... I think there's a difference between, like, a fan and a supporter. Like, there, a supporter is someone who's going to, like, I'm going to listen to your music. Mm-hmm. I'm going to check out your shit. Doesn't mean a fan is going to be somebody who is legitimately a part of the community. Right. And is a part of, like, they they talk about your music. They avidly, they're looking for it. And they're, like, almost fanatical about it. Right. I agree with you. I feel like for me to call myself a fan of an artist, I have to be on the lookout for new music by you. I have to more or less be involved in things outside of music also. You know what I'm saying? Like, if I'm a fan of yours, I'm going to follow your social media. If I'm a fan of yours, I might think about buying some merch. If I'm a fan of yours, I might go to a show. I'm probably going to tell other people. I'm going to re-listen to your shit. There aren't, eh, I'm not going to say there aren't many people, but I wouldn't say I'm a, there's a lot of people who I'm not fans of that I still fuck with and I still support. Like if Travis Scott drops some new shit, I'm like, oh shit, some new Travis Scott. Let me, yeah. let me click it and listen to it. There's a trippy red. If he drops some shit, I'm gonna be like, oh, okay. Let me click it and listen to it. But I'm not avidly searching for any new trippy red. I'm not like sitting there waiting like, ooh, I need some new trippy to come out today. Like. I wouldn't call myself a fan of Trippy Red. Niggas I call myself a fan of would be Big Sean. I look for the new Big Sean music. I would watch an interview when it drops. I have purchased Don Life merch before, whether it came or didn't. Yeah. Uh, you feel me? Like, if Big Sean comes to Chicago, I'm going to be there. That type of shit, I would call myself a fan of. Yachty, I'm a Yachty fan. I'm an Ugly Guy fan. DC the Don fan. BFB the Pac-Man fan. Like, 
that isn't my definition of fan. So I wouldn't call myself a Travis Scott fan. Like he got some he got some songs that I enjoy. I like a couple songs off of Astro World. Yeah, you yeah. support you you would support Travis Scott and what he does. A fan is like actually there. Like I would say I'm a trippy red fan oh, because see, I've yeah. legitimately seen him at a show. I've legitimately gone out of my way and bought some merch. I've like you got trippy merch. Oh shit! You know he's coming to Chicago. I ruined it, but uh, next week it. or the week after, uh, got some bleach on it. It's today. Well, shit, <laughs> Trippy is uh, in Chicago <laughs> today. <Intel>. Apparently, <laughs> <laughs> see, don't feel like that good <laughs> right now because I definitely did know. Are you but, going, Angel? Oh, okay, yeah. But yeah, Trippy. I would say I'm a Trippy fan. I would Shout say trippy. like. As Kanye West for sure. Oh, I'm a Kanye fan. Sure. Yeah, like there's no doubt in my mind. Drake fan. Right. There's it, Who Tyler. is the artist you would say you are the biggest fan of? Like if someone, Tyler. Tyler, you would call yourself. Yeah, like I think if I if I ran into him in person, that would be the person I would like fan out, and I'd be mm. like, "Yo, what the fuck?" And I'm like, <laughs> "Like that would be the person I would fan." But it's between him, Frank Ocean, and probably yeah, Drake. Well, you see Drake, you <laughs> what the <Yeah>. fuck? <laughs> like I feel that. What about you, E? Uh, normally I would say Juice World, of course, but I mean, not a whole lot of stuff comes out about him, of course. But right now, I've been really on DC to Don, like. Instagram, Nigga, DC goes S- crazy. SoundCloud, everything. Like. It has taken every ounce of strength in me not to buy that fucking Mo Three shirt, um, with the flaming bear on it. Oh yeah, I actually did see that. Nigga, that's, if that's I cool. wasn't broke, I would have <laughs> bought that bitch in a heartbeat. But I just purchased the Dom Life merch, yeah, and I was like, ah, I can't get myself to spend that money. But fuck, I want to. How much so is the bad, shirt? Bro. Like thirty dollars. I'm trying to be more disciplined with my spending and like my money and stuff. So I'm doing my best. But yeah, not nah, it's like thirty dollars, but still I want it very badly. Yeah. But I'm a little broke right now, so it is what yeah. it is. It is but like what DC, Jack Harlow. Oh yeah, um, you're like a big ass Jack Harlow fan. I mean, I don't know all that. <laughs> but, I, mean, I, I do, heard I heard that a lot I of Palooza you was trying to grab on his meat. Nope, nope, nope. I was the one in the back. I was away from that. Really? Because I, I don't know. That's that's <laughs> not what I was. Most definitely were pushing me out of the way. That's it. I, uh. I was like, hey, go ahead to the front. I'm not with that. Mm, okay. Do Yo, as you please. That sentence was not what that, I expected. I, I don't know. I just, <laughs> I, I remember an episode from a few weeks back. I couldn't remember exactly <laughs> how I it went. I remember saying those niggas. Ah, uh, okay. I, I couldn't I was, fully remember. I was away from that. I said that they were toxic. Mm. I was not with that. Got it. Got Maybe it. Y'all see a video. <laughs> oh, my re- God. No. <laughs> 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 no, I was not with that. <laughs> just, <laughs> just a video of Ian Titley in the crowd. Like <laughs> <laughs> just reaching. Jack Harlow. Okay, wait. So I would say DC, probably Jack Harlow. I've been like, I would not call myself a fan, but for some reason, I know I've you. Been, like, I know who you about to say, and ooh. that's about to be a nasty ooh. person. Machine Gun Kelly. No. Way. Oh, okay. I thought you was about to say you were a Machine Gun Kelly fan. I was about to be like, nigga, you're lame. I'm a Machine Gun Kelly fan. Nigga! (laughs) I I wasn't going to say it, but I'm like, no. After you said that, I'm definitely a Machine Gun Kelly fan. Because every day you walked into the studio this week, you done walked in singing some Machine Gun Kelly. I've been listening to his music. I saw the merch. I saw the tour. And I I hate to admit it, but he walked in, and I was like, hey, what you listen to? This shit hard. He said Machine Gun Kelly. I'm like, nah, that shit. That shit ass. Arms (laughs) crossed. Bro, I cannot hate on that nigga. He... His rap shit, I never fucked with it. But his alternative shit, I fuck with. That shit is that shit is decent. Yeah, I can't lie. I, I didn't look up a couple of Machine Gun Kelly type beats. Yeah, yeah. He got some hard ones. No, nah, I'm definitely an MGK fan. So yeah, yeah those four right now. You said three. You said three people, and they said those four. Oh, I was gonna <laughs> say Skies. I I Lil have, Skies. I've been I've gone back and listened to his music. Lil Skies. I, is that dropped, who you mean? Yes, he hasn't dropped anything recently, but I still fuck with all of his old shit. I really liked Life of a Dark Rose. And then I was very disappointed because everything else he's dropped since then has been very subpar to me. Life of a Dark Rose was my shit, Life though. Of Dark Rose I nice. really enjoyed that. What was the one he dropped after that? Like Trudy or some shit? Or Sharon? What, what the fuck was that shit called? <sighs> Why am I John? It, it was a name. Trudy. I just don't remember. <laughs> yeah, it was like, it was something like it that. Like Debbie. I just don't remember, yeah. 
Shelly, right? Shelly? Shelly. Yeah, Shelly. That shit was ass. Yeah, something like that. That shit was garbage. I bro. thought it was decent. I thought it had some okay stuff. Yeah, okay. No, nah, I mean, niggas know who I'm a fan of. I fuck with Big Sean. That's gang. That that sounded lame. I'm I'm sorry that That's I said gang. that, y'all. That, that was that was lame as shit. That was lame as shit. Big Sean. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a fan of Big Sean. You, the Pac Man. DC. <laughs> nigga, shut up. Say <laughs> gay. Oh man, Yachty, Juice, yeah, gay. All those motherfuckers are people that I would thoroughly call myself a fan of. But there are a ton of artists that I also support that I wouldn't. Say I'm, per se, a fan of. You a Chance fan? But that's the thing, bro. Not too, not really. <laughs> but niggas make me have to be one, bro. Because, look, niggas throw so much disrespect on Chance's <laughs> name that I have to put my cape on, even though I don't really want to, bro. But, like, niggas not going to just sit here and disrespect the man. You feel me? Because that's fair. Nah, because niggas be disrespecting Chance, and Chance don't deserve that disrespect. <laughs> Chance has made too much good music. He's done too much for the city of Chicago and too much for just independent artists in general for motherfuckers to hate on him as much as they do. So I always, whenever I hear a nigga hating, I got to come up and be like, hey, Yo, y'all niggas valid. is wrong, bro. Right, because yeah. niggas don't be valid, bro. <laughs> niggas be valid. straight hating on Channel. Like, Channel don't be out here, bro. True. Like, Yes. So what? The nigga loves his wife. Don't y'all want to have a wife that you love? True. Nigga, I want to love my wife. I want to love my kids. Nigga, you know what's <laughs> up? There's some. <laughs> there's some nigga right now with his fist in the air, like, oh. There's some nigga listening. It's like, <laughs> like chance. He's so no, nigga. Like this nigga's out here, bro. Like, like, he loves his wife. Like that's uh, no. We don't love women. Don't you, we listen to future? Like exactly. How is niggas mad that he loves his <laughs> wife and kids, bro? How the fuck is you mad about that? Like you can't be mad that this nigga love his wife and kids, bro. Nigga, I want to love my wife and kids. Everyone should love their wife and kids. I mean. Some people got some trash wives and trash kids. But, like, if you got good <laughs> wife and kids, you should love them. <laughs> like, yeah. Niggas be hating on Chance. So. I, I think wives and kids deserve unconditional love. I was about to say, dang. Right. Unconditional. Nah. You, you, right. you signed a paper. You signed a paper saying, I will love you. <laughs> you don't really have an option about that. You Nigga, then what's the worst? N- nigga, that that is saying I won't love you no more. Th- that she isn't your wife. But there was, <laughs> but the, the loss of love happened before you signed the paper. Nah, bro, you can't you can't wall her out though. You can't just stop. <laughs> she loving. might be garbage. You can't be like you're garbage, <laughs> <laughs> nigga. What if your wife <laughs> kill your kids? Okay, then yeah, I understand. That's a whole different circumstance, though. You don't love her. You should love her up until that point, though. She, she <laughs> like, might just be garbage. Your, trash kids, trash wives. You sitting like, there. Like, how do you end up with a trash wife, my nigga? Like, that, that's possible. all you. People change. <laughs> that's all you. But people change. You could be like, damn, this is the person for me. And then y'all both change. And now y'all like, yo, this is not the person for me, nigga. All right, like, what about happen? trash kids? Nigga, kids can be trash, bro. Nigga, didn't you just say you don't want kids because kids can be trash? And that's different. That's on you now. <laughs> it is. It is on you because you you chose to have them, but they still trash. No, that's on yes, you. That's on you. If your kids you. are trash, that's on you. <laughs> I, I agree. I, no, I can agree with that. <laughs> I, thought I, agree was, with that. I thought you were disagreeing. Hey, like, no, 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 I can really. agree with that. It's on you, but niggas too late now. Like, <laughs> exactly. That don't mean they don't get love, my nigga. <laughs> That's trash. on you. That's on if you. They trash. You just like if damn. you made if you made the trash, nigga. You gotta <laughs> either fix the <laughs> either fix the trash, my nigga, and make it not trash no more. Nigga, if you make a garbage meal, you don't have to eat it. Like, if I if I cook some shit and I'm like, <laughs> I ain't do a good job with this shit. Fuck it, I'm throwing it out, bro. You can yeah, just but fix the shit. You can <laughs> not always. You can try. You can at least try. That's true. You can. You know, like, damn, oh, this is nasty. Ass. <laughs> Nigga, I tried to make some some ramen carbonara. That shit was garbage. I took two bites. It was like, no. That don't even sound good. Ramen it, carbonara. It, it sounded good when I read the recipe out, and we didn't have anything but ramen, and we had the ingredients to make carbonara, and I was like, fuck I'll it. Do it. I try it. That shit was yeah. bad, bro. Like, that shit was not the vibes. And I, yeah, I, I can't even speak on how bad that shit was. I, I ate like three it. bites. Was like, yo, this shit is in the trash. And I made a lot too, cause I was hungry. So I made two packs of ramen, bro. And I was like, I'm really about to feast. That shit was ass. 
I tried should've to just, save it. You should have just made the ramen. <laughs> I should have. I should have <laughs> just ate the ramen. But I, I that shit just wasn't devised. Carbonara is just garbage. Yeah. Or at least mine was. I've never had it from anywhere else. I had it from a restaurant once. I didn't really fuck with it. It wasn't bad. You definitely wouldn't have fucked with the one I made. I promise you. Oh, that. I can guarantee that. Yeah, that that shit was not ramen, good. Ramen carbonara, not good. But speaking of not fucking with, yeah, the Travis shit was just I. Right. It wasn't anything special. It wasn't anything unspecial. I know the real Travis fans are probably going to be mad at me for saying this because they love Travis with all of their heart and soul, but it was just all right. Mid. It's just mid. Here's the thing about the word mid. I feel like that has become bad. Bad. Right? People <laughs> you use, call some mid, they're like, why is that mid, huh? Like, yeah, like, like people mid. use the word mid as the word bad, so that's why I don't use it because, like, <laughs> mid really means it's, like, a six. Yeah. Like, six, six and a half is, like, mid. That niggas use mid. mid for shit that's just zero. Yeah, that's just they be mid. like, yo, they be like, yo, this shit is a two mid. No, nigga, like that's not how this <laughs> word is used, bro. <laughs> they do. Uh, I feel like that's the thing with any slang, though. People, in, it's just oh, yeah, like yeah. it'll start going from one thing to just being like definitively this word just means this word. Yeah. <laughs> it's just what it is. That's something that has definitely happened in just today's society with the word mid. Niggas are like, oh, that shit mid, bro. What? what the fuck you mean? That shit was all right. It was okay. Like, the Travis shit was mid, but I wouldn't call it mid because now niggas think I, I hate it. But I would call that shit like a... The first song was probably like a five. The mid. second song was probably like a six and a half. Yeah. But I don't have any perfect tens <laughs> mid from plus. Travis in my... <laughs> like, like, uh, yeah. Mid plus. In my book, I don't have any, like, tens from Travis. Yeah, I'm not a Travis Scott fan. I don't have any tens from Travis. Right, the best Travis Scott fan, the best Travis Scott song um, for me is probably, I don't even know if this counts because it's a feature, it's Champions with him and Nav. That's my shit. Yeah, that um, is good, but I wouldn't count it. You wouldn't count it? Yeah, All right, then the best, then I would go with Sicko Mode. And I only like song two and three yeah. from Sicko Mode. So. I don't even know if I would count I can that. already hear the Drake verse. <laughs> I, I, I like the Drake parts. Drake. Like, honestly, I go to sickle mode for the Drake parts. So, I don't know. Yeah. And I only like half of the first song off of Travis's album. Stargazing? Nigga, I guess. But I don't know why the fuck it's two songs, but I only like the second song on that one. So. That shit, the second song, knock for sure. Someone needs to teach that nigga how to structure an album or a song or something, because that shit is hey, ridiculous. It, you saying it, but it's working. <laughs> like, no, it's working. Like, this nigga got fans for real. It's, it, wor- it's working. No, 100%. <laughs> like, no, like, them fans was loving Astro World. Travis has fans for real. Like, he has, he is the, in my opinion, the most overrated artist today. Travis Scott, 100%. I can't think of. I feel like there's another one I'm thinking of. I just can't remember. I feel like if I say my opinion on <laughs> who I think the most overrated thing is, it, every, everybody's going to be on my ass. Let's hear it. I, no. I'm excited. I feel, uh, not to sound like a dick, I definitely feel like Nicki Minaj is a little overrated. I feel like she's a little overrated. If, yeah. I, I think she's, I think she's, she's a wonderful good. rapper. Yeah. I do not think people rate her at a level yeah. of skill that is. I'm like, what do you know. think she should be rated? I think she's like on on rapping alone. I think she's like an eight. I think she's like a hard eight on rapping. And I don't think there's give a me lot another of, eight so I know who you're comparing her to. Rick Ross. Rick Ross is like an eight. Yeah, Nikki's on, better than Rick Ross. I don't think yeah, Nikki's better. Than I don't know. Yeah, Nikki's not, better in, than in Rick bars. Ross. Yeah. No. Yes. No. Yes. Nikki is. Yes, Nikki's better than Rick Ross. I don't know too much of Rick Ross, but I uh, Rick better. Ross is like so- solid on every feature. Solid, he, his songs are solid if you listen to him. But I'm saying like, uh, I'm trying to think of another eight who would fit the uh, bar just as good. Just just for rapping alone, uh, shit. I don't know. I just I don't find Nikki as entertaining as I did when like when I listen to old Nikki now. It, I don't get as entertained as like if you listen to old Kanye now, it's just as entertaining as Hell when yeah. it came out. It's if I listen to old Drake, it is slightly less as entertaining as when it came out, but it's still like the nostalgia feed in, right. and then yeah. you're like, damn, this shit was heat back in 2012. I remember crying over girls that didn't even notice me. Right. <laughs> like, Shout out to Axie. I'm not gonna say it. Go ahead. 
Thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, <laughs> right. yeah, I'm, not, I'm not gonna say that. My bad. So like, <laughs> it's it's just like as as I get older, some shit doesn't impress me as much, and I don't feel like I feel like with lyrical skill, a lot of people give Nicki like this level that I don't feel like she's on. I'm I like, think you need to sit down. I've and listened. Lyrically I, break I, down some Nicki, I've bro. lyrically broke down Nicki. Nicki, to me, is not. Rick Ross is a phenomenal rapper. I don't disagree Literally, with you. He is phenomenal. Yeah. I don't I don't think Nicki's on a tier that's, like, crazy above Rick Ross. I don't, like. If I had to rate Nicki, I would give Nicki a nine. On rapping, yeah, if, I don't. I don't as an, I'm nah. saying as an overall artist, and no. Oh as, no, as a as an overall artist, she's definitely on rapping. I would give her a nine too. I, 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 I wouldn't give her. I Nikki wouldn't give can her wrap her ass off, bro. She can do rap. You, do I don't. Agree? I don't think she's like. I don't think she's dropped a verse where I'm like, God damn, this is some of the I got craziest some. I got shit. I got some for you. I give some to you. All right, and uh, when I tell you that it's not that, don't be mad at me. Like Dude. that's just that's my personal opinion. I love Nikki. I don't think she's like the people. I've heard people damn near argue that she is the greatest rapper to ever live, and she's I'm like, not, yeah, she's yeah, not it's, it's, yeah. like is not that close. But do you agree that like, she's that the greatest is female rapper? Uh, yeah. Okay. I, def- I definitely I agree with you. Mm, I d- there's some female rappers that got bars. Who who you got above Nicki? Uh, I don't want no nah, like I I don't want to put Missy Elliott like but I love like old. <laughs> I, I got Nicki over Missy. Uh, yeah. I just like I I don't know. I've if I'm always going loved Missy Elliott. Best female rappers. I have to put Nicki number one. Yeah. I well, Nicki's undeniably one. number one. Like, you can't, like, but I, that's just, like, personal preference. If we're going personal preference, then I like Young and May more than I like Nicki. Yeah, Nikki. exactly. Because like, Young and May is, I fuck with Young and May Yeah, now. but, like, when, when I start speaking on rappers, like, in general, who are just phenomenal, there are, like, it, it becomes hard to, like, put people above them. And with Nikki, I find myself putting people above her. Like that is it's just like how like I I don't think she's as good as people make her out to be, but I definitely think she's like she's S tier for sure, but she right. definitely is sitting there like just be careful because you know I'm a barb, so I'm yeah, not I know, yeah, I know how people like, get down. Yeah, niggas are, <laughs> niggas have to I might have to swing on you talking down on Nikki. You feel me? Yeah, the barbs fuck with me. I'm I'm with gang. He gonna turn into Chun Li on you. You you feel me? Nigga might have <laughs> to turn into Chun Li real quick. You feel me? Nah, but I I think that Nikki is rated properly, potentially even underrated in today's time. I feel like people don't give Nikki her respect. I feel like she I gets would say uh, properly. I I feel like she gets too much praise. But I'm motherfuckers a, that don't really praise her like that. Though. I I feel like it's every become very single popular. motherfucker is. Nikki's the queen. Nikki's the queen. Like, yeah, I get. I was like, Nikki is fantastic at rapping, but like, I I feel like there was so much more that played into her fame that wasn't rap. And That's I true was, too. And I was like, it's not like we're not talking about rap. We're talking about her as an artist. Her as an artist, amazing. Nikki she is an is amazing artist. Debatably the rapper, first pop star rapper. I'm like, uh, I debated. Actually, mm. I would say Nikki was uh, the first pop star rapper. When 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 did Drake come up? I would say Nicki went pop before Drake did. Super bass was pop. Yeah, yeah. Mm. I don't know. There, there's a, huh? Snoop Snoop Dogg been lit. Snoop Dogg ain't a pop star. I Snoop Dogg could do anything pop though. Star. Snoop, Snoop Dogg, Dogg is not a pop and, star. And Missy Elliott could do anything too. Missy Elliott wasn't a pop star. She could do anything. That's because they had niggas in boxes back but then. But that's what I'm saying. Nikki was the <laughs> first person to break they had out niggas of it. in boxes. No, T Pain. T Pain for sure. Uh, T Pain. Yep. No, you're sure. right. You're right. T Pain. Yeah. yeah. No, you're right. T Pain was probably and the And you first could pop even argue ever. Kanye West. Kanye West definitely had had yeah. some poppy he songs some by that point. But he wasn't a pop star. But I feel like it, Kanye West is any type of star. Like you But he, now he can not do, at the time. At the time he at was dropping time. songs that you could but that's not what certify makes you a as pop a pop hit. But that's not what makes but you a pop, a pop star. star. Uh, I don't you gotta know. live that pop star lifestyle. You gotta live how Drake <laughs> said. He was living. Is that Justin not how Bieber. Kanye West was living? Nah, though? Kanye was Kanye not a pop was, star. He was living a rock star lifestyle for that, a long time. You did not say pop star. <laughs> the <laughs> word you just said was <laughs> not pop star. star. <laughs> like the word you said was not uh, pop star. Yeah, but he was making pop hits. Like that, he was making but pop hits, and it was at the top. Pop hits doesn't make you a pop star. Then, then what does? 
having the pop image and consistently dropping pop hits and I, having the public. I view feel like he, he 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 definitely Kanye West wasn't somebody you could put in a box. You couldn't put Kanye in a box directly as a rapper, as a Kanye you, was a rapper and a producer. At the I time. feel like he was more of like. At the time, he was doing a lot of gospel shit too. He was then there. There was a ton of shit Kanye West was doing outside but of the box. You're saying what they're doing, not what they're branded as. Uh, the, like, you, just, like Nicki I don't know. and T Pain were pop stars. T Pain for sure. That's T Pain was yeah. O D. T Pain was a pop star. He, he had course. he had hits everywhere. Yeah, yeah. Like he was a straight up pop star. Nicki Super Bass was her first hit, and that was pop. Nigga, like Super Bass was pop yeah. starships. Um, all that shit. I don't know. Pop. I just feel like she's overrated as a rapper. Nothing, nothing else though. Like but I feel I mean, like she gets the proper praise for everything else, but as a rapper, I don't think she. Drake was just starting to get into that like transition. I like definitely. That's what I'm saying. I'm Nicki saying, I, came before. Nicki helped him move into it. Yeah, that's when he was starting to transition. When that little moment for life came out, when all that started to drop. I don't know. Pink Friday, all that. But what about uh? Fuck, what's the name? Uh, what's the name of that song? Fuck, just do the melody. Yeah. Y- you the best. You the like all of, all of his shit. Maybe you. Uh, oh yeah, yeah. Best all, I ever had. Yeah, the best I ever had was a pop hit. Like it, but Drake, saying, Drake's hits. I'm not saying Drake didn't pop. have pop hits, but Drake wasn't a pop star. I don't know. No, man. wait, wait, wait. Actually, I will give you this. He was in that Sprite commercial, and that was pop. <laughs> So <laughs> technically speaking, yeah, he did song, turn yeah. into pop. No, that shit was. I did key. watch that nigga turn into pop. He zipped that bitch. We thought <laughs> that shit was so open. high down. <laughs> <laughs> we thought that shit was so sick. Oh my god, he turned into a robot. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we did that. We watched him turn into pop. So technically speaking, you saw the sprite bust <laughs> through his entire body. Yeah. <laughs> that shit it came was, that shit all was the key live in 2011. In 2011, when that nigga said. <laughs> We was like, oh shit! He took I was like, damn, I want a sprite. Give me a sprite, man. right? <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to be that. Niggas used to pretend it was transformed. Right, niggas, drink, niggas drink used to. Oh shit! Damn. Nah, that shit was fire. Shout out to Drake. Shout out to Nicki. All the pop stars out there. That shit was crazy, man. All right, so Kanye West just did his interview on Drink Champs. It dropped last night at 11 p.m., so we weren't able to watch the whole thing because, nigga, it ain't even been 12 hours. But I did get a chance to watch a little bit of it, and obviously we've seen the bigger clips and shit that have been floating around and all that. From what I did see, nigga, I loved it. I love any situation where I get to see Kanye West talk. When that nigga get to just sit down and speak... That shit is always a good fucking time because. Because you say crazy shit. Not. (laughs) I'm not going to say because of that. In my personal opinion, in my personal definition, Kanye West is a genius. I had a feeling you was going to say that. Because I I think Kanye West is a genius. I'm not going to say that, like, I look up to Kanye West or he's my role model, but he definitely has a lot of good ideas. Does he have some bad ideas, too? Yeah. Yeah. But he is a genius, nonetheless, in my opinion, and I fuck with Kanye West. So I like seeing him sit down and talk. I liked his Joe Rogan interview. I liked his Nick Cannon interview. And I'm not done with it, but I'm fucking with this um, Drink Champs interview. Shit hidden. Now, haven't gotten to this part yet, but niggas saw that Kanye West said that on his tombstone. Look, this this is two things that's going to fuck me up, bro, because niggas know. I fuck with Kanye. When I was just naming niggas I was a fan of, I fuck with Kanye West, bro. That's my nigga. Or should I just say yay? I fuck with yay. That's my nigga. That's his nigga again. It's crazy. That's gang. (laughs) I fuck with yay. I fuck with Big Sean. That's my favorite rapper, bro. Gang. That's gang. You feel me? This nigga. Gang with both of them now. (laughs) Yay said, on his tombstone, he wants it to say, I deserve to be here because I signed. Big Sean. Nigga, huh? Look, this is why I feel like this is whack. He went on to say it's because that the Democrats got in to Big Sean and John Legend's heads when he was running for office and they didn't support him running for office. I'm going to be a little honest here. That's kind of lame, bro. Like, you can't be mad at niggas because they don't want to vote for you. If I decide to run for office and C2 doesn't like my ideals... I can't be like, 
man, I'm so mad I put this nigga C2 on the podcast. Nigga, if I said some shit you don't agree with and you don't want to vote for me, I can't be mad you don't want to vote for me, nigga. That's fair. I'm like, that's a pretty ignorant reason to not fuck with somebody. Like, I feel like that's a little nuts. <laughs> oh, you agree, C2? Really? Yes. <laughs> if I'm your man, you're supposed to jack me publicly regardless. Even if you don't, if you, even if you know privately that you aren't going to vote for me, you're supposed to at least be like, that's my guy, and I'm riding with but him. But that's the thing. I Y'all know I follow Big Sean. I would consider yeah. myself a fan of him. Big Sean never said, don't vote for Kanye, but yeah. he just endorsed. Um, well, f- originally he endorsed Bernie Sanders, but that wasn't an option. So he endorsed. Um, fuck. Joe Biden. Thank you. I'm sitting the here current like. president. Yeah, I'm like, I'm sitting here like, <laughs> what, what's that nigga's name again? Yeah. Like, he was just like, yeah, no, I think we should vote for Joe. Feel like that's a bad thing, my See, nigga. But he didn't have to pass no policy. He didn't have to say nothing. But he may feel that that's he, his responsibility. Well, yeah, but he could have at least acknowledged Jay in some way. But he did. He said he fucked I'm with like, Jay. He did say that he fucked with him though. I mean, he was just like, "Yo, I feel like there are better options, bro." Like, like Big Sean like has <laughs> multiple times. After I, <laughs> I made you, nigga. <laughs> like, and like, I support you. I'm just not trying You're to have you run in our me. office. Like, yeah. I fuck with you for changing my life. I fuck with you for doing all this. But, my nigga, I, I just don't agree with your ideals, nigga. Like, yeah, that's fair. But you don't have to go. You don't have to put me against dude. You could just endorse dude and let it be that. Don't be like, there are better options than Kanye West. But he even and said, I Kanye fuck like, with <laughs> Kanye looking to the camera like, what the fuck is this? <laughs> like, to an extent, I feel like that's a... And, he can do whatever he wants. He's Kanye West. But I feel like that's a little bit of entitlement, feeling like, yeah, yeah. these niggas have to vote for me yeah. because I signed them to good music. Because mm-hmm. John Legend did the same thing. First off, I fuck with John Legend. I've been watching The Voice a lot lately. Yep. And I'm team John, nigga. I want that nigga to go all the way. Shout out John Legend. He got some heaters on his team. But John, and this nigga got the coldest jackets ever. He every always dripped up. Every episode, this nigga pop out with a cold ass jacket. Bro, bro. Kanye did not sign a normal nigga. I mean, that nigga <laughs> he, legendary. He did not sign a singular normal nigga. That, that did not happen. Push the team. But never mind. Push the team not even normal. That's cool. We don't gotta talk about it. We don't gotta talk about He's not even normal. He's not even normal. Push the team. I don't like him. He could be whack, but he's not normal. He's not normal. He's unormally whack. No, no, that nigga. That Pusha nigga. T been overrated, bro. Pusha T is overrated? not a good rapper, bro. Yeah. Pusha T is not a good rapper. He's a solid rapper. Pusha T is not a good rapper. He's a solid rapper. Like, nigga, if you say Pusha mid. T is better than, oh, okay, yeah, I would agree. <laughs> he is <laughs> mid. What? I'm not gonna say he's better than Nicki. If you nah. say Pusha T is better than Nicki, <laughs> nah. I'm sitting here baffled, nah. nigga. I am confused. Be baffled, then, nigga. Nigga, <laughs> 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 just go for it. I'd be sitting here confused, nah. but I feel like that's a bit of entitlement, and like. What did Pusha T say during the election? Of course, he was riding with Ye the whole time. Pusha T is... (laughs) Let me me chill out. Let me chill out before I get my... Uh (laughs) Ride or die. I don't know. That nigga signed me and I'm with him. (laughs) I'm with him. That's true. Pusha T is very good music, nigga. Like... And, like, the uh, the label is called good music. He doesn't (laughs) doesn't make good music. Uh, Come on, man. He's on... He's featured on one of the greatest Kanye songs. Okay, but name a... Good Pusha T song. I didn't say Story all that. But I'm Adidas. asking you to I name didn't a good say Pusha. all that. That song is ass. <laughs> I didn't like it. That song is bad. <laughs> I don't care what anybody says. The story of Adi Don, not a good song. He said some very shocking shit. Duppy like, Freestyle was a good song regardless. No, Duppy no. Freestyle, it, he bodied his No, I'm not going to lie. No. I didn't feel like I didn't feel like Drake lost that. Because it, to Duppy me, was it, was, it was nothing got resolved in anything like Pussy T said. It kind of just went like over your head, boom. Like I said some shit that got niggas, oh, now, ha, ha, <laughs> got you. Like yeah. it, was, it wasn't very like. He didn't respond to shit. It was like exactly the entire Duppy freestyle was addressing him, and then it was just like, "Nigga, you have a kid though." Like he who just are got you? mad and said, "Like that's like if me and you were having this Nikki conversation, and you like, yeah, if Nikki don't have the bars, and I'm like, nah, she do." And you like, nah, 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 and I'm like, well, fuck that. Your hair stupid. You know what I'm saying? And niggas <laughs> just like, it's like. Well, Bro, that's not what that's we funny, talking about. because I knew you were going to throw that out there, too. I, yeah, this is the first thing. I don't <laughs> think your hair is stupid. I, I'm like, I don't want you to that's think cool. that. cool. But, like, that's like, <laughs> well, this nigga Angel really love the zoom-ins, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I know what you really think. Nah, but, like, that's like we just arguing. Yeah. It's like, but your ass is Smash Bros. It's like, 
yo, we're not talking exactly. about that right now. It's like, yeah, yeah, but your girl don't really love you. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. You you didn't know that, and then niggas sit there like, like, <laughs> this is like, not what we talk about. Like, this look, don't have nothing yeah, this to do has with nothing Drake to do. Really He's like, we were talking person. about rapping and how. The guy who you was making fun of me because I don't write my songs, but I definitely write your label owner's songs. Right. Like, right. <laughs> he was like, like what are you? He knows. said you're you not even top about? five as far as your label talent goes. Right. I'm like, he was just spitting straight. That was the most like childish argument. That's exactly how a child's argument would have gone. Mm-hmm. This nigga was spitting facts, and he was like, "But you're hiding a child." Like, what the? What the fuck are you talking about? Like, uh, uh, your son go have an Adidas press run. Like, <laughs> like, what? Like, yeah. like what, what the fuck is this? That shit was dumb. But I do feel like Ye had a little too much entitlement when it comes to expecting niggas to vote for him because he's Ye and because he's done things for people. I and have to vote for the guy who made graduation. Like, there's no option. And I mean, like, that's fine. You feel me? Like, but I just feel like that's a little bit of... I think it's a little extreme to say I don't fuck with Big Sean and I don't fuck with John Legend I, because I think they didn't. A, vote I think for it's me. a joke and nobody can tell when Kanye West is I joking. I think he's partially <laughs> joking. Yeah, yeah I'm because, pretty serious. No, I'm saying like if he went and linked with the niggas afterwards, I was like, "Yo, my boys." <laughs> <laughs> like, like I don't think he was. It I doesn't seem like do Big that. Sean took it as a joke because Big Sean posted one a bunch of laughing emojis. Then afterwards, he posted a picture. And he was like, <laughs> like, "That definitely sounds like that a sounds joke." Like, nigga. Nigga, like a joke. Nah, he didn't mean it. Like nigga, afterwards he posted, "Nigga, I was just with you. I'm laughing at you." Like that's not. A, if you tell a so, joke, I'm not laughing at you, nigga. I'm laughing at the joke. He basically said, "Like nigga, you're the joke." Hating on me here, and then the next day linking with me. Yeah, exactly. Like that nigga's funny. <laughs> that, that nigga's just a funny nigga. Like I thought that was wild, just because one, I'm a big Sean fan, and two, nigga, that's kind of nuts Damn. to say that. <laughs> I got signed by I signed Big Sean my fault, y'all. Yeah. <laughs> right, like, <laughs> like, like, like nigga, damn, yeah, that's this is a my little... last word. <laughs> Yeah, man. I fuck with Ye, and I did fuck with the interview. I just thought that that was weird. And I want to watch the rest of the interview. It's a two-something-hour interview, and I'm only, like, 20-something minutes in, and I'm already having a blast watching this shit. Like, it's very enjoyable, and I feel like Ye is great at... I don't want to say he's great at talking, because he's not that good at talking, but... I feel like he's very good at being entertaining. I was about to say, he's entertaining, so it don't matter. That's what I'm saying. He's very, very entertaining, and I like hearing his ideals, and I like, like, he said he doesn't have a house. I like I like how raw and, like, unfiltered his, like... Yeah, he just gives yeah, his genuine self, bro. He was talking about how he doesn't have a house, and he doesn't plan on buying one, and he's just going to go off the straight nomadic shit. It was like, I don't have a house right now. He said, I got a backpack. He said, like, I have a bag that I carry with me, and I call that my house. Like, I might buy a bigger house. I might get a bigger backpack or get a Duffy or whatever. But that's what I'm going to do. And he said that he wants to be able to get to a point where he doesn't have to exchange money for anything. He can just go places and not have to worry about buying lodging or anything. He can go somewhere, and they're like, oh, shit, you're yay. You can stay here or friends or family like you can stay here, blah, blah, blah. And he just wants to live that nomadic lifestyle and just be free. He was talking about how a lot of people are slaves to working. And the way that they get you into that is telling you you need to buy a house. You need to be able to pay your house, keep like a nice place to live like you deserve to have a house. So you work hard to purchase this or pay for a place to live or whatever. And that's how you're kept a slave into working for your entire life for doing things because you're taught that you need to have this, you need to have this land. You need to be able to do this or whatever. And he said he wants to break away from that. He wants to be free and do all that shit. And I was like, damn, that's some crazy shit. Am I still going to buy me a ranch? (laughs) Yeah, nigga. But it was interesting hearing him say that shit. You feel me? Like that shit was, that's cool. I really like, I like how he always pushes the envelope on ideas and just be, I'd be like, damn, this nigga definitely just had a new idea that I didn't think of. Yeah, well, 
I've heard from a lot of like billionaires though that that's the move. Like fuck buying a house. That's now. what a lot of people. Say. Yeah, they're, no, oh, they're just like I'm gonna rent. I'm just gonna rent spots, or I'm just gonna you just go somewhere. Go, else. Yeah, like like I'm gonna find a way. Like I work with enough people for someone to find me somewhere to stay. I'm yeah. still with buying a house, but I did like what he said. I like um, I like a HQ. You know how yeah. I am. Yeah. Headquarters. You right. know, I need somewhere to get back to. But like, yeah, he was like, "This bag is my house, and when my daughter facetimes me, that's my home." You feel me? And but he got hella kids. I was just about to say that he only ca- he kept he said it like three times, and I'm only twenty minutes in, and that nigga only said his daughter. Maybe the rest of them don't know how to use the phone yet. I don't know. Maybe but, she's the only one with the phone. Yeah. yeah. So I was like, all right. But I was like, damn, this nigga got four kids. What, the, what, what about the rest of them? Exactly. Bro? <laughs> Saint be like, yo, pops. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not here, bro. I'm not here. I'm not here. Just don't even, don't even say nothing. He was also talking about something. I can't remember what it was, but he was like, oh, yeah, and then my wife. And he said, and that's still my wife. Ain't no paperwork, so I'm going to keep calling her my wife. And I was like, all right, nigga. Like, <laughs> if that's what you she want, bro. She Pete Davidson on TV, my nigga. Apparently, her and Pete Davidson were, like, seeing out. I was like, yo, that's a... I was like, that's a downgrade. If I was yay, I'd be pissed. That's a dub for Pete Davidson? Though? I'd be pissed. That's though. a dub for Pete, <laughs> but like, you, like, what? I'd be proud. She, yeah, she can have not. anybody in, on the planet. I don't know about she, that. She got, she got a billy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> she, um, like, Kim she doesn't have, have a billion. Neither. Yes, she does. Kim is not a billionaire. Kim is a billionaire. Are you sure? I am 110% sure. Oh, okay. I mean, keep talking. I'm going to look, I'm gonna look uh, it up. Uh, Kim is a billionaire, and I'm like, she could have any man on the planet. P called a dub. Oh, yeah, there. Dub. No, I would be heated, though, because Pete is someone who's been around his family multiple oh, yeah, times. Kim is a billionaire. Yeah. yeah, like, so, like, that would make me question, like, yo, you, were you fucking with this nigga while it was me and you? Possibly. Yeah. I just think if I was, yeah, I'd be like, yo, I'm yay, and you went from yay to, to some comedian to Pete nigga. Davidson, bro? Like, come on, some man. Some SNL nigga. <laughs> like, he was like, you know, I'm prime time. <laughs> like, he was like, yeah. that nigga's not even, like, close. I'd be like, yo, like, what? Yeah, right, you <laughs> feel me? Like, yeah, I don't know. That's how I feel. But however she gets her rebound, she gets her rebound. I mean, as long as she's ha- as long as everyone in the situation is happy, I don't give a fuck <laughs> I know how Pete Davidson bullying. <laughs> yeah, that nigga. <laughs> uh, <laughs> like. Yeah. But that is the best play. Like, <laughs> like you, there is no better play. Yeah, I mean, shout out to Pete Davidson. I personally have never found him funny, but that's yeah, just I me. Yeah, I don't really roll with him like that. But. Yeah, I don't feel like <laughs> Pete Davidson is funny, but I don't know. That's my personal opinion. Other niggas might find him funny. I don't know. But, yeah, no, nah, the interview has been really cool. And I've actually, this is odd, but I've never watched a Drink Champs interview before. I obviously have known about them. I know who Nori is. I know who that other nigga was with the gray beard. I don't know what that nigga's name was. But it was pretty interesting. I like hearing Ye talk. So I like when Ye does interviews where the other motherfucker just shuts up. I prefer that. Like, I like the Joe Rogan interview. Joe Rogan barely spoke. The Nick Cannon interview. Nick Cannon barely spoke. Nori and them niggas keep interrupting this nigga. And I'm like, yo, be quiet for a second, bro. Like, I'm trying to. <laughs> I'm trying to hear and him it speak. It might be his, your show. Uh, Ye, but Ye is in this bitch. Yay with a podcast would be amazing. Would uh, be amazing. I like getting it sporadically, like yeah. regular, like irregular like, Ye content. Like Ye just having raw ideas on a mic. Like if he was solo there, the only nigga there just talking on a mic. I like it when he asks people to bounce off of. I think that that's cool too because they take him into different directions that he wouldn't normally go in, you know? Yeah. Because he probably wouldn't have said shit about Big Sean if Nori didn't say that shit. They also talked about Drake and the verses and all that. And he was like, Ye was like, yeah, nah, this nigga Drake been hitting subliminals that niggas didn't know. Like, he said, it's war. So Drake may say something that's just between me and him in the song. So the listeners will listen to it and not even catch it. But I'll be like, damn. And he was like, fuck it, bro. I bit his ear. He said, just like the Tyson Holyfield fight, niggas didn't see what Holyfield was doing. And Tyson was like, fuck it, I'm going to bite this nigga. He was like, yeah, I bit the niggas here. Sorry. Like, it just is what it is. And I, just the way Ye thinks and just the overall interview in itself was very cool. And I can't wait to finish it. I really want to finish that shit because it was just cool as fuck. That sounds pretty dope. I'm going to have to check that out because I did not see it. <clears throat> yeah, no, you should, you should definitely watch it. it. 
I don't know why they dropped it at eleven oh, at night, like it's some an album mo- or some shit. That's some of the most evil shit. Like bite a nigga ear. Oh, <laughs> give the nigga ear. <laughs> like, I, I'm so tired. I can't even punch you no more, nigga. Ow. <laughs> oh. Spit out a piece yeah. of your ear. You bit any like, ear off, what? bro. What? Mm, nah, this is not hands. We gotta. We, yeah, <laughs> we gotta somebody has to off. die at like, that point. Yeah, no, nah, like, we, we have a serious off, issue, bro. We gotta go outside. It would have been like ring. we gotta go outside. <laughs> they, the they already fight, right? No, fuck this ring, bro. We where your strap at? We gotta. <laughs> <laughs> we just gotta bust it. No, nigga. Yes. <laughs> just just yes. stand across. Nigga, what is this? A- <laughs> yes, it's a standoff. Fuck this. Yeah, I was about to say, this is the <laughs> fucking your, shootout in the country. Steps, no, I got bro. quick draw, pro. <laughs> right, draw. <laughs> <laughs> no, nigga. He would have been my ear. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Boom. Nah, that shit is fucking nuts. Um, Juice World has a documentary coming out with Netflix December 3rd, I want to say, maybe. Yes. Oh, you, that's when it is? I remember saying it was his birthday. I don't remember if it was his birthday or the day before or what. His birthday is not December 3rd. I know, but I'm pretty sure it was like something around that time. Because I know it wasn't the 4th. Okay. I'm thinking it's the 3rd. I, I can Google it if it's that important to you. I mean, it's not. I mean, yeah, talk, I mean, talk. I'll Google it, it for you. I'll Google it for you. When is his birthday? The second. Second? Yeah. 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 Talk, uh, please. Yeah, my bad. Uh, I am pretty excited for that, though. I want to see what the fuck is all up in that. I didn't see the trailer. I'm kind of wilding. I only saw, like, the little art. I, I don't think there was a trailer. Yeah, okay. Or cool. if there was, I don't know. I didn't I didn't. I just see. assumed there was a trailer. If I see something about a, a long film coming out, I'm assuming there's a trailer for it. But I don't know where they said to catch it. Netflix? Yeah, it's Netflix. Yeah. So, I'm hyped for that. I honestly can't find it anywhere. I think it's an episode. Oh, okay, yeah. Uh, December 16th. Ah. And it's not Netflix, it's HBO apparently. Ah. Yeah. Interesting. I don't even know what about HBO. Yeah. Hmm? Got that. Yeah, HBO. Like, Damn, I don't HBO, have that shit. I mean, one way or another, I'm going to see it. So. Uh, yeah, true. HBO now is. I don't remember the name of the shit. The shit is amazing. HBO Max? Yeah. This nigga just making shit up. Uh, HBO, yeah, right. HBO <laughs> now? Yeah. No, that's, I think that's the one it was when it was like live streaming the channel. I thought you it were was, just talking about HBO right now. HBO, HBO like, is bussing. I was HBO like, go is crazy, I, I don't watch enough TV. No, but all the movies come out on it. I don't watch enough movies. Yeah, I, I watch a I, lot of movies. And so I, I only, do. I prefer to go to a theater. I don't like the in-home shit. Yeah, but a lot of people are going towards streaming now. And I don't like I got it. a 4K yeah. TV and surround sound, my nigga. Yeah, I'm like, I <laughs> I'm want, like, a I'm busting for real. Cause yeah, nah, I, I fuck with the theater. That's my shit. Yeah, theaters are definitely better. 100%. I'm like, it's just not the same knowing I can go upstairs and go to bed. Like, it's just, it just don't feel the same. Yeah, it don't, it don't hit right. The theater's I'll a whole new experience. I'll go to bed in the movie. Oh, we know. <laughs> oh, we know. We know. Right. We know. Yeah, like, yeah, we know. <laughs> like, right to bed, nigga. Like, now nah, we'll, we'll talk about that in a second. But the Juice World doc, I'm very excited for it because Juice World, in my opinion, is one of, is probably the most influential artist of our generation. I would say. I would give that to Juice. Nah, I would. I still would have to stick with X on that one. X oh, definitely. X, yeah. I would yeah, say Drake X. was more influential. Drake, shit. I would say <laughs> Juice is more Drake influential. For sure. <laughs> Drake for sure, my nigga. I would say no, nah, because Drake is a different generation as far Yo, as music you know goes. What I mean. Yeah, you know, it was just a joke. Yeah, as far as music goes, I would put Drake in a different generation than them. But I would have to give it to Juice overall, and I would love to see just more about him and just deeper into the entire thing. Cause I, I don't know, man, like that shit is just crazy to me. Just yeah, shout I, out th- Juice, I think, I think juice had one of the craziest like blow ups ever, but I definitely think, I definitely think X takes the, it was just the, the idea of someone be going from angry to like understanding their emotions was something like, completely different that we haven't seen from anybody right so uh, and i feel like there there have been people who tried to recreate it but there's like well it's not something that you you can't re- re- yeah, recreate. yeah like you can't, you can't recreate you can't someone else's anything. journey well you can't recreate somebody else's like like essence in a sense his entire like shit was he was so multifaceted that it just it was like he was a gamer nigga but he was a nerd but he wasn't a nerd and he was so, like super gangster nigga like it was he was everything and it was just 
Yeah, X was definitely a cool ass motherfucker. But as far as influence goes, me personally, I would have to give that to Juice because that nigga changed the way that we listen to music today. Yeah, I would I would have to give it to Juice. Yeah, shout out Juice, man. Juice goes crazy. Yeah, I am. Yeah, I've been fucking with Juice for the long time. That is one of my favorite artists. I remember back when I was still in college at SIU, nigga. I had fucking the Juice World 999 mixtape on loop, bro. Just riding around the lake on my goddamn bike, practicing pool by myself. Like, nigga, I was just sad. And the juice was hitting just like I needed it to. Everything was... What was you sad about? <laughs> nigga, everything. I was depressed in college. Like, <laughs> yeah, college about it. Nigga, nothing was going right for me. Bro. Every like Literally everything that could have gone wrong was going wrong for me. College in 2018, bro. Yeah, you was just like, fuck it. Pool hall. <laughs> like, nigga, I didn't have nothing else to do. <laughs> that's the that's where the next move was. I ain't had shit else to do, <laughs> my nigga. Damn, I'm, I'm sad. Don't rack them up, bro. <laughs> like, <laughs> I was bored, nigga. I ain't had shit else to do. That underneath the dining hall, there was a pool table. I used to slide over there and I used to play niggas. Like, I used to play pool. So when I had some free time, I would go down there and practice. You remember when we went to play with dad a couple times and I was cold as shit? Yeah. Nigga, that's because I had nothing better to do, bro. Like, nigga, I had no... I had, like, one friend. (laughs) I had one friend in college. Damn. Nigga, we would just be in that bitch playing pool. And when he wasn't there, I'd be in that bitch by myself playing pool, nigga. And if I ain't feel like doing that, I'd ride my bike around the lake. That shit sound boring as (laughs) hell. Nigga, SIU is just a terrible place. Carbondale is just the worst town ever. That just sound like an ass place. Who are you telling? <laughs> I know. That That's shit was the, the worst. Just out of nowhere place. I would rather be anywhere else. That shit was so ass, bro. Especially like it's a party school and nigga, I don't like to party. So it was just bad. Yeah, that's how. Fuck that school, bro. <laughs> hated that place man a lot of good things did come out of it though like i feel like a lot of like where i am today and who i am today i can attribute to hating siu so much that it forced me to find something that i did enjoy like all this podcast shit comes from me deciding hey i kind of want to do some shit that's sort of in music so let me manage kneecap and then i'm gonna throw kneecap a show and i have the storm let me make a podcast under it like a lot of that shit does come from SIU, I would say. And just, I started listening to podcasts at SIU because, once again, nigga didn't have shit else to do. And I started actually watching anime at SIU because, once again, nigga didn't have shit else to do. Bro, I watched the whole first season of My Hero in a night. Not a night, but, like, in 24 hours. I watched that shit nonstop. You ain't had school? Oh, weekends. I feel you. Yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> nigga, I didn't go to class. Fuck you, me. I guess. I guess that's one way to do it, too. Class was terrible. I hated going to class. I never, ever. I, bro, I went to, like, four classes. I used to go to my art class. What did you do? Like, what the heck did you do in Carbondale? Didn't I just tell you? Play you, pool. You did that every, ride around the you lake, You did that nigga. every day? <laughs> yes, nigga. I didn't have shit else to do. That sounds like a simulation. That shit boring as hell. Who are you telling? <laughs> I'm trying to tell y'all how bad it was. That shit sucked. Damn, nigga. I That's also when I got in the ninja shit. storm. I got... How many times is that going to fall? <laughs> mm-hmm. All right. I also got into ninja storm uh, in SIU. Because, uh, once again, I didn't have shit else. And I managed kneecap. That took up a lot of my time, too. I spent a lot of my free time managing kneecap. For those who don't know, that's an artist. I know that sounds nuts. Niggas talk about like <laughs> he I'm managing kneecaps? my kneecaps and shit. <laughs> he nah, he, this shit up. he's a rapper. His name is Lil Kneecap Honcho, and he used to be very big. And I was managing very big in terms of like SoundCloud 2018 and what that was at the time. Yeah. And I used to spend a lot of my time managing him, and it was a great time, and we had an amazing ascension. But things didn't go the way they needed to. At the end of the day, he was a 15 year old rapping getting a lot of notoriety and shit like that and when things like that happens it can become a lot of pressure and you could not want to work and not put your all into it and not understand how important it is as a 15 year old so that's kind of what happened with that but i do believe if kneecap would have kept going full power i would not be where i am today i'd definitely be in some penthouse somewhere nigga double xl like we we'd be out here yeah, yeah. Sh- shout out kneecap bro 
we kept it. But going. not shout out SIU. If you're thinking of what college to go to, um, don't go to Southern Illinois, Carbondale. It's the worst place on earth. You will not enjoy it. Unless, of course, you want to pool minor. Yes. What? If you want a minor in pool. Oh, I was like, what the fuck is you talking about? Mm. You can play pool anywhere, though. Nigga, the pool tables we had were, like, bogus, too. Like, them bitches mm. were slight broken. Damn. The pool sticks were garbage. Dude, that shit really ass, then. Who are you telling? <laughs> I said that, like, three times. Who are you telling? That's what I'm trying to inform everyone of. Damn. <laughs> I used to play pool you for said, money. You said it was ass, and I imagined, like, a fold-out table with those holes. <laughs> nah. Holes like drilled little, into it. Nets. <laughs> we had actual balls. pool tables, but they were, like, slight broken, bro. It was garbage. But, like, some nights, me and Josh would be down there, and I'd be like, fuck it. Let me run some money up. I played a couple niggas for money. Ooh, there was this one racist-ass nigga. I don't know if he was actually racist, but he looked racist. And his ass was going crazy. That was the best pool. I definitely got finesse, bro. He was like, yo, like, you want to play? Oh, yeah, sure. Yeah, why not? This true. nigga got, had pulled out his own pool stick. Oh, yeah. He I was like, you right when he asked. Uh, oh, no. It would have been, oh, yeah, you got it. Actually, I was like, all right, bro. I'm nigga cool. was jumping I over in, shit. I would have instantly, let me, you know what? You know what? Let me go get my stick real quick. And I would have <laughs> just left. Just left. Nah, I, I was. I didn't lose very often, so I was like, this nigga got his own pool stick, but he ain't cold with it like this, oh, nigga. Come on, bro. He was cold with it like nigga that. Nigga bust out his own pool stick. Of course he was. He was cold. He was like waiting that. for this moment. Where did he pull it out from? <laughs> like, it was sitting on the couch. He like, was sitting there. He right. was like, hey, do you want to play? Yeah. I was thinking, like, did he, like, unfold that bitch? Nah, because he was there before we, like, he was there sitting on the couch. It was, like, a little rec room. So he was there sitting on the couch. So me and Josh pulled up. We were playing pool. We had been there, like, 30 minutes or so. And he was, like, he got up off the couch and was like, yo, you want to play? So clearly he had seen me play, and he was like, ah, I know I'm better than this nigga. He was like, I know I'm better than him. And I should have realized that. He was like, you want to play? And I was like, sure. He said, you want to throw $5 down him? Shit, I'm down. That's exactly when you know he's finessing. I was like, I'm down to make $5. Like, let's get it. Nigga said, oh, okay. He reached behind the couch, opened up the little case, screwed the shit together. I was, ah, okay. I'm still going to run his shit, though. You're not that crazy. Let me go run grab my stick real quick. I'll be right back. Never came back. Yeah, <laughs> Would have been right to the uh, dorm, right to the lunch right. hall. Like <laughs> this nigga was downstairs tripping. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. screwing his pool stick up. together. That nigga had all camouflage on. I was like, oh, this nigga is racist. <laughs> I was like, this is a racist, bro. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah, on a red trucker yeah. hat. I was oh, like, oh. oh no. I like this is a racist, bro. Oh fuck, where I get myself? He's into? like, do you want to play a game real quick? No. <laughs> that would have instantly. I would have looked at his ass like, nah. who said that? <laughs> <laughs> I looked over at me on all camo. I was like, who fuck said that? that shit, bro. <laughs> I would have been like, whoa. Yeah, no. Nah, I gotta some, go upstairs. We had some stupid moments at SIU, but it is what it is, man. It is what it is. Fuck SIU. But that's pretty much all I got on the Yay interview. That shit was, it was fun, though. I enjoyed watching the Ye interview. I'll come back and talk about it more next week when we watch the whole thing. I only watched about 20 minutes of a two-and-a-half-hour interview. So it is what it is. Shout out to Ye, though. That's, he's definitely a genius. Whether I agree with everything he says or not, he's definitely a genius. 110%. Shout out Kanye. Um, do we have anything to talk about before? Oh, we were talking about Juice World, not uh, Kanye, but whatever. I think that's all I have for Juice because the interview ain't come out yeah, yet. Yeah, I'm like, we don't know the documentary. Um, is there anything else to talk about before we get to anime? Anybody have anything? No. Uh, I have something that could s- barely, it, it doesn't really merge into anime. Go ahead. It was the, uh, Ian Dior just dropped a track that was in the new Blade Runner anime thing. For real? Yeah. That's actually very interesting. Yeah, I actually really like the song. The song was pretty decent. I forgot what it was called. Damn. Closer? Something like that. I forgot. Hmm. It was actually a pretty good song. Definitely It's in me... English? Yes, it's an English song. Oh, I think okay. That, I think the anime is fully dubbed, too. I don't know. Like, only dubbed? Not, I think it's dubbed all the way through. Got I think it, it has it. anime. I mean, Japanese and English. Got it. Yeah. So, I just thought that was pretty cool, because I... Don't know any other artists that are in it just because I haven't watched it all the way through. I think I've seen like half an episode on on Adult Swim. Right. So I do definitely want to check that anime out because it looks gas. Animation is beautiful. Ooh, it's one of those. Yeah. It's it's like 3D too. 
It's not. Uh, yeah, I don't it's like not 3D like the 2D. animation. Yeah. I hate 3D animation. Yeah. Well, I, I thought it looked really cool, and the story that I saw from it, it was only like halfway through. It was pretty dope, so I'm going to definitely check out Blade Runner more. Damn, I hate 3D animation, though. Really? Y'all like 3D animation? No, really. I can, I can manage it. I like 2D more, but... 3D animation just, it don't have the same, like, life in it. Like, anime is art. Watching, like, the art of animation, like, the art of anime and the animation of anime, all that shit is, like, an art style and it breathes life and all that cool shit. 3D animation just feels so computerized and dead and money grabbish. It don't feel like we're really in it for the overall art. I can... Excuse me. I can agree with that, but I think for part of the reason that I kind of like it here is because it's a futuristic show and it, this the 3D animation ties into its futurism. Okay. So, I can let that run. Yeah. So, I'm just more of a 2D guy. And yeah. Yeah. I, I can't think of too many situations where I've seen some 3D animation and I was like, "Ooh, this is it. I'm yeah, fucking with this." I can't think of one to be honest. I don't like CGI for the most part. There are some situations in which I understand it and it doesn't bother me because it's just for some background shit. Demon Slayer does it a lot where a lot of background, if it's like a crowd of people, a lot of the background shit will just be like 3D people walking by or whatever. Yeah. And I get it because it's to save money. But if it's like the main shit, I'm not fucking with that. Yeah, I can feel that. Yeah, I think uh, Attack on Titan used some 3D animation in season three, and I was like, "Uh, this shit ass, bro." Yeah, I couldn't picture that in a show like Attack on Titan because the animation is too good 2D for it to be 3D. One of the best, probably debatably the best animated scene I've ever seen is from Attack on Titan season three, and it's Captain Levi swinging through the city, and it just looks beautiful. Yeah. It's just so stunningly gorgeous. It's either that or Saitama versus Genos. Saitama versus Genos. That was crazy. The animation on that shit was nuts, my guy. I'm watching that shit like, yo. Genos got the fire and the incineration. Saitama moving, zooming with the. I was like, yo, this shit is gorgeous. And like, I don't know why it always catches my attention. It's like the black undertones that they have in like one punch like make sure you talk into your mic his fist has like a shine and shadow to it oh kind of like all might's face a little bit yeah 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 so i really like the way that they do that in in uh, one punch one punch has some great animation that is a very well animated show overall i hear season i haven't watched season two but you watched the c2 Mm. and i hear the animation isn't as good in season two i heard they switched studios and the animation was not oh the animation actually is not that bad believe it or not like was it a noticeable change for you or no they didn't have as many in color like crazy depth of color scenes Mm -hmm. but they did have like the fighting i felt like the fighting was done better hmm so like the act like better but, choreographed or better, better animated? choreographed. Okay. So okay. like when I'm watching like because they actually have a person who's kind of the main character this season mm-hmm. and he, he kind of takes it he takes a part of the show so now it's not just Sai you're not just watching Saitama. Right. So now you're watching like this other mm-hmm. character and he he's very martial arts based. Right. Oh, so that's all, some great choreography. So all of it is like he's making like the correct decisions in the correct moments to like land these punches and it, it it looks good that's awesome so it wasn't like a noticeable change like um what's that shit called seven deadly sins thank you seven deadly sins <laughs> no it wasn't like that that was that's a noticeable change that was a very Trash. noticeable change. it looked fan animated yeah it kind of yeah it seven did. deadly sins look like I made that, that looked shit. like something I could like see on my Instagram feed. Yeah, it definitely looked <laughs> like I did that shit. Yeah, it looked like I just pulled out a pen and was like, ah, this is what Escanor Meliodas versus Meliodas would Meliodas look like. Crazy. Right? Yeah, that that seems like some type of fan fever dream. Like it was trash. Yeah, I dropped Seven Deadly Sins, and that is an anime I do not plan on picking up ever. <sighs> I like to continue anime that I'm caught up on, so I probably will continue. There aren't many shows that I've dropped and know I'm not going back to. That is one that I can say with 99% certainty that I'm not going back to. I know that I am going to go back to it. But I don't want to because it's trash. Right now, for that list, my abandoned list is Seven Deadly Sins, Fairy Tale, 
Man. And uh, is it wrong to pick up girls in a dungeon? That's Dude. what it's called. Yeah. Why that? I don't really like it. It's not interesting, but I wouldn't drop it. Season two bored me. Yeah, this is not that interesting. That's Season really two off. is definitely boring. Not yeah, boring. like I got five or six episodes in, and I was like, yeah, this ain't for me. Uh, that's fair. And it's not even like it was ass. It was just boring and not for me. That's kind of how I felt about ReZero after waiting, like, the five years to get back into it. No, season two of ReZero is boring as fuck. Yeah. and other Are you in season two yet? Yeah. Season two is boring. Because I, wa- I watched season one when it initially dropped. Like, I was watching it week by week when it oh, okay. initially came out. What year was that? That was back during high school. That was, like, shit, I don't know. That might have been, like, 2017, 2016 type shit. Damn. So, like, I'm watching it week by week, and I'm like, damn, this show's good as fuck. And then I had, now I'm 22, mm-hmm. and the show, the, I was like, I'm not even interested. Season one was great, though. Yeah, season one was amazing. Season one of ReZero was heat. That is a one of a very short list of anime that made me cry. That shit was heat. Hitting, bro. Damn, I haven't seen a ReZero, but it looks like it has really good animation, and I want to check it yeah, out. Yeah, it has some great animation, too. And it's not even, like, fight animation-based, but when they do fight, it's great. And when they do got to get in their animation back, it's great. But it's more emotional to me. I feel like it's more emotional and psychological. Yeah, it's more about uh, what would you be willing to do for uh, the people around you. Yeah, it's a lot about morality and relationships and love and all that shit and holding memories that might not even be real yeah so he was like like the first time he reruns into the girls like oh don't want to ruin it for you yeah it's just a very very good and emotional show and i really love it but that season two i don't care (laughs) they didn't make me care about anything i barely even understand what the fuck they're trying to accomplish I thought they were, um, uh, once again, I'm going to shut up. <laughs> honestly, uh, you can't really spoil it because nobody gets it. Like, it's dumb, bro. I just don't like season two. Yeah, I didn't plan on picking it up. Yeah, it, it's not <laughs> that good. But I thought they were trying to find Rim and then, not, like. Not really. That's the thing. How far are you in season two? I watched, like, a couple episodes. Yeah, not it. really. Yeah. It's, it's really stupid. It's very stupid. It bothers me that, a lot. That sucks. Yeah. It really sucks. Because I really love season one. And season two, I'm halfway through and I still I'm not going to lie. It's taking everything out of me not to read Hunter Hunter. Like, not oh, to, Really? Yeah, it's, it's taking out. Because every time I see it, I'm like, dude. <laughs> <laughs> like, dude, I could just read it. I, like, I could just read it right now. And Here's the like, issue of reading Hunter Hunter. You're not going to get that much more. So... I get more than what I have but now. But you're just going to feel the same way you feel in a week. Okay. So it's not really I've worth it. I've subsided the feeling for a week. It's not really worth <laughs> it. <laughs> I've subsided the feeling for a week. Yeah. Like, yeah. It's not worth it to me. I don't know. I feel like getting more knowledge on the world regardless would just make me feel better. Yeah, I was like, that seems like something that like you would be hyped for. Like Exactly. Especially you, you really like the Hunter x Hunter world, it seems. Don't you? Aren't you a Hunter x Hunter fan? Yeah, I, I do enjoy it. No, I don't feel like I do as much as Chris does, but yeah, that's my favorite. Anime I enjoy that more. I I enjoy the world there so much because they did make it hyper unrealistic, right? There's no like, there's nothing, there's nothing hyper unrealistic about their, their world. Like magical is like, beasts. Their magical beasts are like, yeah, that not even, not even like all all the shit. It's just a dark continent with a bunch of animals. Like that's Australia for real. <laughs> like, <laughs> that's like, Australia. Like, <laughs> like, like it's just literally like, I think it's so cool. Like the concept of all there's a part of the earth where people just don't go. Like it's it's just. I mean, it's a great show. It's my favorite anime of all time. Yeah. Uh, It just makes you question. It was like, if you stop believing in magic, like, then it just will never happen for you. Like, it's it's really what it was. Like, as long as you believe that you can make it further, then there you are. So, the My Hero movie. This weekend, or last weekend, whatever, it don't matter. (laughs) Niggas saw the My Hero movie, and it was a very fun time. When it comes down to... Anytime the anime community all gets together and does some shit together, I'm going to have a good time. This movie was different than a regular movie in which niggas came together. We were all there for the same reason. When something funny happened, we laughed. Something shocking happened, we 
gasp. Yeah, um, <laughs> we all, <laughs> man, we all <laughs> gasp. <laughs> we gasped, or niggas was sad when some sad shit happened. Motherfuckers was making jokes about Ed and Yeager. We all, it's just dope when the whole anime community comes together and just has a great time. It was different than a regular movie theater experience from what I, I normally go to. You know, like, it was just different, and the energy was more electric and more fun and together than normal. Yeah. I mean, if I go to a normal movie, I'm not going in to I'm not going in with the expectation of interacting with anybody. Correct. I like I'm not expect I don't make noise. I'm not going to gasp, but I'm not really going to like You mean <gasps> Yeah. Yeah, I'm not going <gasps> to <Okay>. So <laughs> so like in walking into that theater, I already knew that stuff was going to happen. People were going to laugh, people were going to gasp, people are going to talk, like right. which is totally fine because right. First off, it's like not crazy to talk in movies. I don't feel like. But I agree with that. I feel like people be doing the most. Yeah, like even what, you even got a problem after, with that scene? Yeah, that shit blows. If you're like loud and obnoxious, yes. But like, if I walk into a theater, like no, no, working no, you can the theater, casually speak. Yeah, like that's fine with me. It's when people like go from like you. There should be an in the movies voice and a I'm in the hallway get, like concessions voice. That that's fine. You can be hyped on the way into the movie, but like please, when you get in there, like I'm not trying to hear you have your full conversation with the motherfucker next to you. That has nothing to do with the movie. Like I'm trying to hear this shit yeah, and I'm considered. hearing like significant amounts of you and yeah. I don't I no, like, Yeah, that's just that's just being considerate. But if you walk in and something happens on screen and you're like, bro, did you really just blah blah blah? Like, yeah, okay, cool. Whatever. And I'm like, there was a decent amount of that at the at the movie and that was totally fine to me. I enjoy people being able to interact with their friends and even other people at the movie. Totally fine. So I thought that the whole movie was actually pretty dope. Yeah, it was very cool. Um, I didn't give a fuck about what's his name, Rody Soul. Rody Soul, that's the nigga with the bird. Yeah, I didn't give half a damn about him. He was annoying. His character was kind of dumb. It's a filler movie, so there's not much they can really do. They can't develop characters we already know. Yeah, I'm like they needed something to add into the plot. Exactly. They still have to have development in the movie. Yeah. But they can't develop the niggas we already know because it's filler. So yeah. the way to circumvent that is add in a new nigga and develop him, and we're never gonna see him ever again. Yeah, I, I thought mean, that was kind of dumb. I mean, not dumb because they did a good job of it. I just don't like the. F- I, I mean, movies are filler. It is what it is. Yeah, I'm like, I like the Demon Slayer movie that. how that was canon, but not so much if you're just gonna split into five episodes and give it to us like that. But I wasn't a fan of the movie period. <laughs> I like that it was canon. It was cool. It actually developed Tanjiro. It developed Rengoku, even though, you know, we got smoked. But it developed Rengoku. Fuck, what's the nigga with the sword? Two swords. What? You know, oh. <laughs> said the nigga with the, the sword. sword. I'm like, yeah. like, the fuck? You know, <laughs> sure got development. Got a sword. Like, a lot of niggas got developed in that movie. Yeah. I thought that was cool. That is one thing that I liked because it fell in place with the actual story of the show that was cool filler movies less so i still enjoyed this one just like i enjoyed um heroes rising even though they're filler yeah i think they did a much better job with this other than like heroes rising because they did kind of i like heroes rising better than this really yeah Hmm. okay you think this was the best my hero movie yeah you're bugging. Yes. You're bugging. This was a good My Hero movie. I enjoyed it. Heroes Rising was way better. Heroes Rising was fantastic, bro. Are you getting... I got it mixed up. You were talking about Two Heroes. Two Heroes. Two Heroes was ass. Yeah. Two, two heroes, heroes was some hot ass. It's not good. Heroes Rising, I don't think I saw. What? You didn't see Heroes Rising? I don't think I saw Heroes Rising. Oh, you're definitely bugging now. Yeah, I meant to to see it, but I couldn't find it anywhere, and then I just gave up after a while. Heroes Rising is some straight heat. This movie, what is was this one called? World's Heroes World's Missions. Heroes. Or that World one, Mission, yeah. good. Two heroes, some hot ass. Yeah, I tried to watch Two Heroes. Yeah, was Two Heroes wasn't the good. The most bussing. No, that shit was very bad. I had a very difficult time getting through it. 
the ending fight, great animation with Deku and All Might when they synced up and got it popping, and then Bakugo and Todoroki were helping back him up. That was cool, but every second leading up to that was painstakingly garbage. That villain was garbage. Oh, the DJ? I forgot his name was, like, Wolf something, Wolf Gang something. That's a cool name, but uh, I know he, you're he was just a about. trash villain, though. Yeah, I know. You're First off, about. his quirk made no sense because I feel like it changed. That's a common theme. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I guess it, that did, <laughs> it did kind of happen in the Bakugo fight yeah. at World, in the World Mission. It's movie. a bro. You said them niggas multiply. It looked like they was just twins. It definitely looked like they just poofed. And split. Well, they were fighting Bakugo, so I think the one nigga was standing there. And perfectly in sync. <laughs> like, it's anime. I don't know. <laughs> it's anime. I don't know about and that And then one. they was like, okay. And the second nigga stepped out from behind him. I guess that's possible, but I also don't see why they would have the exact same quirk. They're twins. Yes, but like that whole movie and the whole like doomsday theory or whatever it seems weird to have somebody like that in well Todoroki has damn near the same quirk as his brothers and sisters yeah but his being just better being a part of humorize why would Fleck turn have somebody with a quirk that can do this much and they're worried about the doomsday theory okay do me a favor take a second and think how the fuck is humorize gonna get anything done without some quirk niggas Imagine if a, but a, a quirk nigga, niggas tried to go up against Bakugo. But a quirk nigga that has two quirks seems dangerous. Yeah. <laughs> like, I don't think he has two quirks. It's, one, it's two niggas with one quirk. I guess that's possible. But also, now that I'm thinking about it, why did they give them niggas trigger if they were scared of the doomsday? Because they, they needed strong niggas to help them. They wanted strong, out of control niggas <laughs> to help them. No, well, they they were in control. They really weren't though. They were probably gonna betray them anyway later on too, but they were in control. They didn't super trigger them like with the trigger bomb. The trigger bomb like spread everywhere. And that shit was killing people and was killing everyone and gave them ridiculous amount. When they got in a little vial, they control their dosage and it's not gonna kill them yeah i mean i guess that's true it just seems a little weird to strengthen somebody's quirk and uh, and humorize well yeah they needed strong niggas because if they didn't do that then humorize would have never been able to get shit done because bakugo would have pulled up and smoked everyone by himself Todoroki could have smoked everyone by himself deku could have smoked everybody they needed some boosted niggas to stop the heroes. Yeah, that's fair. Because some quirkless niggas, what was they going to do, shoot them? Like, like, they got blasted through fast. Yeah, they had the straps. And in. I'm like, the second they landed, they all got whooped. Exactly. And Bakugo blasted through them niggas fast as he shit. He made quick work of them niggas until the buddy with the, or the two buddies yeah. with the uh, triggered quirks tried to stop him. Yeah. So that's what I'd say on that. The monster that Todoroki fought, was extremely confusing to me. Yeah, that quirk was weird. I had no clue what was going on. He was a big ass monster. First off, okay. He was fighting two random humorize before that. Who? Todoroki. Yeah. Where the fuck did the monster come from? <laughs> like he just bust through the wall? Like I have n- I can't tell you. That was just so random to me. And I have no idea what his quirk was. I thought his quirk was to be a big monster. And then the niggas started controlling water. And then the niggas started controlling Todoroki's fire. And then he got bigger and became fire and ate Todoroki. That whole part was very confusing to me. Yeah, because he was saying, like, he was rotating his quirk to, like, move the water. But some of the time he wasn't in the water. And he was just controlling the water. It was odd. It, yeah, it made no sense. It was I didn't know odd. what his quirk was. It was still a good fight, though. Yeah, it was a cool because fight. Because we got to see Todoroki use a lot of the shit he's been learning from Endeavor. So he's learned the um finger like sh- lasers. Spider flames or something. I forgot that what it was, was called. called. Yeah. I don't know. But he used the finger lasers that Endeavor mints the building with. Yeah. He used that shit on the wall. It was like a camera. Yeah, yeah. on the camera's. 
He, uh, spider fingers, that shit was raw. He used the flash fire fist that Endeavor taught him. He and threw his own little thing on that. Yeah, I forgot he what he said. He had more than, like, his casual moves. And I can he always be saucing appreci- it up. Yeah. Yeah, I can always appreciate that. He even that. used the, uh, I forgot what it's, uh, flash fire heat wave. He used that one, too. Yeah, exactly. And he also uses his mom shit, too. Or not his mom shit, but his ice side. And it's cool to see him adapt his own shit. He has Endeavor to teach him how to use his fire side. But his mom is in a mental institution, so she can't teach him shit. Yeah, true. So he has to adapt what Endeavor teaches him into ice. Yes, true. Like, I think that that's cool as fuck. Because he really... He's showing how, like... Because you know how Bakugo makes his own moves. Bakugo is probably the most adaptable nigga in Team 1A. Or Class 1A. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Todoroki is a close second now. He's starting to get up there. Before, all he used to do was use a mountain of ice or a wave of fire. I mean, at the beginning, he didn't even use his fire. So Exactly. Yeah. And he didn't use his ice for real. He would just step. Kind of just make a massive wall. And then be wall like, of ice. ice. Done. Yeah. Like, <laughs> what he the used, fuck? He used to get the job done, though. I'm trying to, I can't think of anybody else, like, uh, versatility-wise who would be good in 1A. Besides, like, Momo. She's yeah. not even that versatile. Uh, really. she, yeah. She's versatile. If she knows what she's doing. I think she is versatile. We just haven't seen her enough. She kind of lame. It's a cool quirk. I, I like her quirk. I, I don't like her personality. I don't like her personality, but I think she could be awesome. If someone else had her quirk, they'd be goaded. But she's very timid and uh she has low self-esteem so she second guesses everything she does yeah if she was more confident and like straight up she could really get some shit done as a hero that's true and she's smart as fuck too she i feel like she's wasted potential yeah i mean like i thought that she was gonna like at the very beginning of the show when she was like almost class rep or something like that i thought she might rival todoroki but nah she's yeah it's kind of hard who's the strongest person in class 1a bakugo you think Bakugo? Bakugo. See? It, it depends on what you mean by strongest. Yeah, like, we're talking about Because Todoroki's just not going to fight Bakugo. Like, he, he, just, he just doesn't care. I'm not talking, like, if they fight each other. Well, yeah, I guess so. As an overall hero in strength, in battle strength. Who, If you had to pick a nigga to... If you had to pick a hero from Class 1A... To go against a villain, in your opinion, with no extra booster crazy shit, who are you picking? Bakugo. I if I I'm, think I got Bakugo. If for I sure. picked somebody to just go out and fight like a motherfucker, I'm picking Bakugo. Hmm. Yeah, if I I'm want just choosing somebody to leave you know, everything out there. Overall, I'm picking Bakugo. Just overall. You think Bakugo is a better hero than Todoroki? Yeah. Than Midoriya? Yes. Maybe future Midoriya? I don't know, but right okay, now, Okay, top definitely. three, in your opinion, in order. From 1A. Definitely Bakugo number one, Todoroki number two, Deku number three. Okay. I hate to even put Deku up there, but... Who would be above him? No one. He's trash. <laughs> I would say Bakugo one, Todoroki two, Deku three. Before, I would have put Deku above Todoroki, but after training with Endeavor... Todoroki has definitely boosted back up there. Who has Deku saved? He the saved world? Harry. He just saved the world. I'm a happy. No, what you mean? Uh, he just saved the world. We watched it. I um, mean, yeah. it, it was all of them. He saved everyone when he stopped overhaul. He saved everyone in that little facility. He he literally bent re- he bent the future. He saved Bakugo. He's so from, strong, he uh, bent the fu- future. Exactly. On, he saved Bakugo from uh, Shigaraki. Ah, that's true. And uh, what what's his name? Koda from he Big Snow. Oh, Koda muscle saved Koda. Nigga. From Muscle Nigga, yeah. Uh, okay, well then. I guess I'll put Bakugo, I mean Deku up there. I don't he know. saved Shoto from himself. I can't think I can't think of anybody. It's your quirk. That was stupid. <laughs> it's your own it's quirk. Your quirk, not his. You know how many times he goes back to think about that? He'd be like, <laughs> he's like, that shit is mine. <laughs> that shit really made a lasting impression on him. Like, he, that nigga he, didn't he, already know. Right. He didn't. That's dumb. Sure, he's <laughs> he so really dumb. Didn't. He said, it's your quirk, Shoto. He <laughs> said, actually, 
You're right. <laughs> like, what the I'm going to whoop your ass, man. Right, now I'm just going to beat your ass. That shit was crazy. Deku could have easily taught him that shit after the fight. Right. <laughs> <laughs> now that this is over, you know that's yours. Right. Like, <laughs> I whipped your ass, but you might have beat me if you yeah. used it All right. right. Top two. <laughs> we in this now. He didn't stand a chance against Bakugo. No, so it's a got, good thing Todoroki took him out. Yeah. yeah. Bakugo would have murdered him. Yeah. Yeah. Shout out Bakugo. I'm very interested to find out what his name is going to be, but that has nothing to do with the mu- movie right now. So, Because I know it's not going to be Lord Explosion Murder. So if it was, that'd be turned. As a hero? That'd be turned. You would like to be saved yep. by Lord Explosion Murder? Yes. King Explosion Murder? If you are if you have a gun, I don't want to be saved by you anyway. So Snipe isn't the best name. Gunhead isn't the best name. King Explosion Murder ain't too much different. What if his name is like Kaboom? No. For like Kachan? Mm, He's just Kaboom. No. Oh. <laughs> nah. That would be ass. No. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, it's not the worst, but I wouldn't pick. That's it. not a Bakugo name. That's not so. No. <laughs> Blow a nigga up. Bakugo is not about to land and be like, "You're now facing Kaboom." Like, I wouldn't be mad if he just went with Bakugo. I would. Really? Yeah, Bakugo's too original to steal Shoto shit. It's not stealing. It's his fucking name. No, nope. <laughs> there's nope. too many niggas with their names nope. for you to call it. <laughs> right? No, nope. it's his name, bro. Nope, he's too different for that. He's too different for that. O- okay. He's, All right, I'll let it rock. He's going to find something better. Whatever, man. But other than that, the movie was pretty good. Uh, I didn't like how they hyped up. What? That's basically what Deku did, too. He's not going to do that. <laughs> he's going to be like, okay, since Deku took the, the name that we used to call him, I'm going to be Kachan. Fuck no. I hope he doesn't. Yeah, good point. He No, he's not going to be Kachan. That w- doesn't fit him at all. Yeah. That doesn't fit him even a little bit. But I could let Kaboom rock, but it's kind of dumb. Kaboom. <laughs> nah. Blows it up. That's just a little corny. But I didn't like how they built up. Uh, Fuck, what is that nigga's name? Fleck? No, not him. Rowdy? Yeah, I didn't like how they built up what his quirk was for the whole goddamn movie yeah. for it to be so useless. It was just a very stupid quirk. It was a dumb bird didn't make sense either like it was useless as fuck bro everything they did in that movie he could have done without the bird exactly the, it, he basically didn't it, he would have been better off being quirkless in my eyes if that nigga was quirkless that would have been way cooler yeah yeah Ooh, what would have happened if that nigga got hit with the trigger you just get a big ass bird that could be kind of raw you just get an extra flamingo. Man, nigga just gets a big bird. Like, <laughs> like he just shows if extra If he got a big emotion. ass bird, nigga, yeah. that's what fucking side do. He be flying around on that big ass bird in Naruto. But that's different. It's cool to me, nigga. What if his bird does go from like, yeah, I'm like chick size to pigeon size? <laughs> like, what if he stays the same size and just shows more emotion? <laughs> <laughs> like, Yo, that would be. He just turns up now. That would actually be hilarious. That'd be crazy. That would be very funny. That would be so trash. I I just feel like it was dumb to build up his quirk for so long for it to be basically nothing, bro. Yeah, because I definitely thought it was going to be something yeah, His quirk cool. was definitely huff. Yeah, it was just useless. He, I would have preferred him being quirkless. And it's not like we didn't know what the bird was. Like They just said that, oh, this is actually my quirk. Like, okay. That's right. <laughs> Like, we already knew the bird. It was, Yeah, I just thought that was dumb. But other than that, the movie was good. I enjoyed it. I had a lot of fun watching it. In terms of falling into line with My Hero movies, this would be the second best one. Last place, I got two heroes. Second place, World Heroes Mission. And third place, Heroes Rising. I still need to watch Heroes Rising. I haven't actually seen it. Yeah. That shit fire. I watched Two Heroes. and I tried to watch Two Heroes. That shit was not bad. Two Heroes is just yeah. not good at all. But Heroes Rising is actually fire. Hmm. I'm going to need to check it out. Because I know that they did go a little bit more in depth on each character. Like yeah. each person in And they plus a. altered the fuck out that movie. Yeah, that seems like a plus ultra type movie. Them so I do plus need plus to watch ultra. that. I saw like a few bits and pieces of it. Like I saw the Chimera. Uh, I think that was it actually. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, that fight seemed pretty cool, though. No, nah, that shit was raw. Okay, before we get off of this movie, this nigga said United States 
of World Smash. He tried to top All Might, man. Oh, we understand that that's not a thing, right? Hey, like, man. He could have just said North America Smash. Nigga yeah. just made some dumb shit up. He United <laughs> States of World Smash. <laughs> Oh fuck! I was on the spot. Like he definitely just made some dumb shit up. No, he was looking at the no camera reason, like I got bro. you, <laughs> bro. He was like, "Shit!" I hope all heard that. Sitting there like, nigga, why didn't he just say World Smash? What yeah. the fuck did he say he United really States for? United States of uh. <laughs> like, that nigga was under pressure. He didn't know what to say. I, he couldn't think of nothing, bro. That was trash. And Cementos was garbage too. <laughs> Cementos the goat. What you mean? That nigga covered the bomb in half a foot of cement. Yo. Endeavor took his bomb and flew it to the moon. And Cemento said, "Huh, <laughs> shit. We're good. God damn, I'm great." <laughs> like, that nigga he was like, <laughs> wiped his brow. <bride. laughs> <laughs> <laughs> All right, problem hey, solved. Wrap it up. Go home. <laughs> Damn, why am I not number one hero? <laughs> Nigga, the last bomb blew up from underground. And you think you gonna put a foot of cement around that bitch and you safe now? Loki was like, all right, who what's the next job? <laughs> right. Nigga, if you don't take your bum ass home, no. well, why is he not a construction worker? Loki, I was Tell like, me, no, have... no, 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 no. This is another situation of when heroes need to understand what their fucking box is. Is why Cemento's not a construction worker. He is not getting shit done as a hero, bro. Let's be honest. Cemento's really ain't stopping shit. Nah. He not getting it done. But you know what he could do? Oh, he yeah. could build a mean oh, yeah, school. You, you know what? I'm gonna put you in this concrete box and then I, I want was, you to re, reiterate. I was that about to say, like, he could definitely do a he little definitely bit. Cementos could build a mean library, nigga. He could build a mean library. Yeah, that's that's fair. He would go crazy, bro. I'm telling you, Cemento, be there are better things he can do with his time. To the world as a construction worker. But he could be his quirks hero worthy. Nigga, you not going to find a better bridge. I mean, if we talk about useless curse, we did have that paper thin nigga. <laughs> like, <laughs> that nigga was a hieroglyph. Like, that was just stupid. <laughs> he was just, that I can run fast. How? You're just thin. That nigga was a hieroglyph. He was like trying to the air. Shit. He. That shit was <laughs> so dumb, bro. That was dumb. But somebody need to take Cemento's ass home and let somebody need to just build him some or just give him a spot and let him build some shit. Yeah, throw that nigga a hard hat and we're good. It, you feel me? <laughs> you feel me? That's all it takes. Say, Yo, we need a new school, new UA. We're exactly, good. nigga. Man, fuck that shit. But low key, he wasn't even the worst one because you saw Kamui Woods' team. Yeah, they failed. That bomb was in the middle of the city. <laughs> no, they straight failed. They were finna let that bitch just go off like, <laughs> dang. If they Deku was not there, they would have failed their mission. But that was just the or dumbest Raka thing I had ever seen. Them niggas got the bomb, floated it, and what, tripped? Like, what the fuck was that? Them that niggas lost true. control of it? It was, like, right next to a building, too. Nigga, like, that shit is crazy. She thought she was on her Scarlet Witch shit. Yeah, they really did a bad job with that. Who? Yeah. <laughs> that shit was ass. The only two niggas that did shit was that water nigga and Endeavor. The water nigga? What he, he like, pushed one of the bombs up. I don't know who it was. Somebody, like, shot up a geyser and just shot the bomb up. I do remember that. I just don't remember who it was. Yeah. Hmm. Hopefully it wasn't that, uh, that firefighter nigga. What you mean, uh, backdrop or something? Backdraft. Backdraft. What's wrong with him? You gonna lie and tell me backdraft isn't trash? He knows his lane. And you know what? And I fuck with backdraft. <laughs> I fuck with backdraft. Because <laughs> <for that. laughs> he At trash, least, but he knows. He knows his lane. I'm gonna just put out some fires, bro. Right. He was like, hey, man, I'm garbage, but I'm gonna get it done the way I should be getting it done. And I fuck with backdraft for that. So you know what? I'm not gonna hate on your boy. He I'm was, not gonna hate he on was your about boy. about to get on his case, too. I'm not gonna <laughs> hate on him because he was like, yo, I'm ass, so I'm gonna stay in my lane. Cool with that, bro. Cementos need to learn how to do the same thing. That's fair. Uraka definitely need to learn how to do that shit. Yeah, yeah. Uraka need to chill out. Dupla yeah. Arms definitely needs to go somewhere. That, when I was watching that movie, and he had all them eyes out, and they were trying to find where the bomb was, you're not looking any further. He had them eyes going up. I'm like, this man is just a trash hero. He needs to go somewhere. He's literally just like so huff. Here's something that I'm consistently confused about. They always put Dupla Arms and Jiro right next to each other. Because they're both just scouting heroes. Spread out. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, would, if, if they both are for scouting and this nigga can hear a lot and she can hear a lot, 
Go hear a lot in different spaces. <laughs> Why are y'all next? You hearing the same shit? I was like, what they gonna do? I found it. Oh, me too. Yeah, <laughs> like <laughs> y'all hearing the same shit. Go step over there. Give me some room. That is dumb. How they I don't get why they're next to each other. That's thoroughly confusing to me. Yeah, I, I don't get it, man. I do not get it. There are some very questionable choices in that show. There's some just bad quirks in that whole class. Yeah, I agree with you. Who got the worst quirk? Anima. Tail. Oh, tail. tail is bad. Tail is tail. ass. You know what? Yeah, tail tail. I, w- I was gonna say Shoji, but I gotta give it. to I tail. don't know. I still feel like Annie Annie voices ass. See, you think was, Anna voice is worse than thinking, Tail though? No. Oh, okay. Okay. I think that that's something <laughs> that could be good if he just exercises his part. Well, it it doesn't does it give him control over animals? Nah. No. He just talk to him. Yeah. He Doctor Doolittle, my nigga. He should, <laughs> be, he should be a veterinarian. <laughs> Honestly, it feel like he would probably like that more too. Like, yeah, he probably have he more fun like as a vet, bro. Yeah, I'm yeah. like he just likes talking to animals. He don't like doing shit as a hero. I agree. He, there's definitely better things he could be doing with his time. And if I were him, why does he not keep animals with him? He just goes to the scene and hopes there's some nearby. I would keep a wolf with me. Like I would keep a pet wolf or like. But that would, ape or some shit and just move with that nigga at all given time. It would probably just be hard to get them. Because I'm like, you, can, you can't you can control them. To you just got to talk. You make a friend, nigga. Like, what you mean? Go to the zoo and see which one you vibing with. I guess that's kind of true, yeah. Nigga, that's just like um, the third Hokage with Monkey King Enma. He could really just pull up with a big ass monkey and be in that bitch together. Or have a wolf with him that, like, Akamaru. He don't control Akamaru. They just homies. Yeah. There's so many better ways Anna Voice could be using his quirk, but and he is that, failing. See, like, even when, you, when you're comparing a successful version of him and you bring up Kiba, that makes <laughs> me, I'm like, that nigga's useless then. Yes, but he could be more useful than he is currently. That's my only argument. Which is yeah. useless. Yeah. And it's still useless. And so he goes from mid to mid plus. Okay. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> like, exactly. He can let okay. that rock. But that's all I got for the My Hero movie, unless y'all got something else. Nah, no. That's it. Um, Platinum End. I enjoyed the fuck out this episode. This is a good episode. Niggas are probably going to hate me for it. Niggas hated on me last episode. I'm still Metro Poly Man, bro. I'm Team Metro Poly Man with it. I mean, I can't say I'm Team Metro Poly Man, but that is a like smart nigga. Yeah, bro. Yo, I told you, the, the writer, like he, he knows how to set up a scenario that's just like, I it's fucked. <laughs> like, That's the thing. One nigga just ran it up on you. <laughs> he just ran Metro it up. Poly Man a little evil, but like he's still playing chess with these niggas. He really know exactly what is going to happen in every scenario before it happens, and ain't nobody about to stop him. Yeah. And his angel is the angel of knowledge. Or no. No, his angel is the angel of greed. Yes, greed. Still cool. I'm still with it, though. I'm still rocking with that. And they were like, yo, his angel went from being some bum-ass motherfucker to being special rank out of nowhere. How did that happen? I'm very interested to find out. Jug. Yeah. Okay, she really he, ju- he, he was Jug man. Yeah, he definitely finessed somebody out their shoes. And I'm cool with that. Yeah. Metro Poly Man is the go. And he not even that evil. Because he really doing all this to help his sister live. Mm, that don't mean shit. What you mean? That don't mean shit. You just he, killed he a little girl. Done, he could have done. <laughs> you he killed the little girl to save a little girl. He don't care about and that. And then one. killed other people. He don't care about that one. He care about his. That don't mean. That don't mean shit. <laughs> Nigga, Naruto killed people. No, he didn't. What you talk about? Who he killed? Who? Who? Kakuzu. He, that's not an innocent motherfucker. <laughs> he killed him. So that's a, that's a killer. Naruto didn't know I if he was innocent he or not. Killer. Naruto stood on the scene for two seconds and threw that Rasen Shuriken. That's All he knew was my though. homies is fighting this nigga. We got to scrape him. <laughs> like, that's, that's killing like, one person to save thousands. He's killed thousands to save one person. <laughs> <Damn>. <laughs> like, <laughs> I, I can't really argue against that one. Like, that, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's a solid argument. Yeah. Midoriya probably killed people on accident. I don't think so. Probably he be he be doing some crazy ass shit. I'm sure he's accidentally killed niggas before. No, no. He definitely it. dropped a building on a nigga. No. Nah. <laughs> Let me stop. Damn, <laughs> that was crazy. <laughs> but, 
Nah. <laughs> That's just fucked up. Aang? Aang is a Aang. nigga who killed hella motherfuckers. Yeah. Niggas yeah. tried to act like Aang didn't kill people. When he turned into that water spirit, he was going dummy in the water tribe. Niggas died. He had, to, he had to smoke them niggas, though. They was out there pillaging. They murdered his entire family. <laughs> Come on, B. But, I mean, it also it also depends on the intent that you have. And that wasn't him. That was the moon spirit. Nigga. That was the moon ah, spirit. that's true. That wasn't him. That's <laughs> true. <laughs> yeah. Aang definitely killed some motherfuckers. No, he was, he was just standing real. there. He was the avatar for the fish. The fish hopped down and said, I'm smoking shit. He said, boy, where are you from? To the water with you. Uh, <laughs> he was I shit. guess I'll let that rock. That Don't even true. get me started. What, what, Admiral, uh, Admiral uh, Zhao. Yeah, Admiral Zhao. He was like, oh, tell me your nigga. Come here. Boom. Come Admiral here, Zhao nigga. was a evil ass a nigga, demon. bro. You, bro, this nigga picked up the moon spirit and saw what it did right when he pulled it out the water and shit started to get bad. He was like, I'm still going to do it. That was an evil motherfucker. He said, let me just uh, bag that motherfucker. Yeah. <laughs> Kill the moon. Care. GG. And I'm sitting there. I'm like, damn, bro. The moon fucked up, bro. Killed the whole. Admiral God Zhao damn. was an evil mo- Not to mention, he tried to kill Zuko. He thought he killed Zuko when he blew his he boat up. He was trying to yeah. kill Zuko. The yeah, he blew Zuko's that whole boat up. That nigga just wanted to be, that nigga wanted to the, be the Fire Lord. Shout out Zhao, man. He wanted to be the Fire Lord. For hey, real. he was putting in work. Anybody who put in that much work for their goal, evil or not, I got to give you a little respect. I got to give you a little bit of respect. I, I don't even respect feel like him. he was really putting in that work. He was just pulling up like, that nigga found right, a, Zuko, Zuko didn't found this nigga. <laughs> We're on there, yeah. That's, <laughs> like, that's kind of true. He said, "I found out about the moon." Oh, <laughs> we on there, yes. <laughs> like, this nigga Admiral Zhao found the secret library that couldn't nobody else find and destroy any information about the Fire Nation. That's that's not easy to do, bro. He also figured he went killed the moon, knowing that shit would fuck him up too. He was like, you know, I don't even really he care. Like, put I don't the work no in. Fuck. I'll fuck up the water nation and us. I don't care. He said, <laughs> he put he the said work we're in. doubling down, getting rid of these niggas. <laughs> it will fuck us up, but I'm getting rid of these niggas. He put right. the work in, bro. He put the work in. I don't fuck with y'all. But I got to give him a hint of respect because he went really hard for no, his goal. No, he went crazy. He went crazy he for crazy. his goal. Yeah, oh, nigga was inches within success, bro. He was like, yo, I'm going to figure this shit out one way or another. We going to get to the it. library and said, where the Fire Nation section He at? said, damn, there's a lot of fucking knowledge here. <laughs> Burn that shit. And he had to get away from the owl, too. Because, nigga, Team Avatar barely got away from the owl. So I don't know how Zhao managed to get it done, but shit, he different. He was probably with a party of like 15 niggas. That's yeah, probably possible. Yeah, he probably went in there 20 <laughs> He probably didn't pull up by like, himself. Yeah. yeah. But still, shit, he got it done. I fuck with him. He put in work. I'm fucking with Zhao. He put in work. I'm fucking with him. I'm kind of glad he died. Yeah, he's still in the, the spirit, the fucking he mist of up. spirits in Korra. He fucked up. Hey, he out here, bro. He out here. But, nah, this episode of Platinum Man is actually going... I'm I'm very much enjoying the show. I like how Metro Poly Man is a thinking ass nigga and he is really beyond them motherfuckers. And we got a new nigga to the cast. What's his uh, name? Ah, uh, dang, I don't remember. You are really about to lose your title as the uh, name, nigga. I forgot nigga. what the fuck his name was. Damn. Well, we got him. First off, I like that his shit is green. His um halo oh, and yeah, bands. Yeah. I just feel like the green looks clean. Like that shit just look. Mm, the red looks a little cooler. The green kind of raw, though. Like red does look a little cooler. I'm not going to lie. I'm really fucked. Metro Poly, man, he, he pulled out both and had the double ring. And I was With like, no, nah, that shit looks that sick. Was raw. That shit was hard. <laughs> like, he was like, wait, sick. the max is 36. But if I stack the two arrows on top of each other, boom, easily make 60 feet. That's he was like, stupid. if I put three, I can hit 90. I don't think that should be a thing. Why not? I think that it should only go as far as the bottom arrow goes. Nah, because it's both. But it's not. You're just pushing one arrow out of the other arrow. He can also fly. What, what you want? <laughs> like, come <laughs> on, man. Like, what, what, what you want? You can argue a lot. <laughs> that's not something you can argue with. Yeah, like, yeah. I don't know, man. Like, the nigga can fly. Yeah, that's right. He, boom. That shit's raw. 
That is wrong. He really about to go crazy. I fuck with Metro Poly, man. He be thinking and really plotting out. <laughs> that nigga cook. I'm going to keep it a stack. It's hard to be Team Mariah right now, bro. Like, he really is. Like, I'm having a tough time being he Team ain't really Mariah. Done shit. Now, I fuck with Mariah and I fuck with Nessa, but not as much as I fuck with Metro Poly Man. Metro, Metro Poly, Poly Man, Man is working. He's on some bullshit. He working. He's, he's he working. I don't, I don't know. I'm excited for Mariah to turn up, though. Mariah not working. Mariah finna work. Look, this new dude is finna. I'm excited to see these costumes. Yeah, he a costume maker. I'm excited to see I that. I swear if they pull up with some Metro Poly Man type costumes, I'm going to be pissed. You know the beat. I'm going to be pissed. They finna pull up Max. Yeah, they pull <laughs> up to be Metro sick. Orange. Metro Chartreuse. I'm going to be mad, bro. <laughs> pull up Metro Boomin. <laughs> 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 crazy. I'm going to be mad. Them niggas definitely need to pull up with their own drip. That's going to be raw. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they will. I don't see why they would pull up with Max. He was also very smart to shoot a bunch of psychologists and private eyes and detectives to find the rest of the niggas. I hope Metro Poly Man don't think of that shit. Yeah. Because it's over with. The second he had that thought, it's done. That's a smart dude. Yeah. I rock with him. And he he was like, fuck it. I I don't really care about none of this shit. I'm down to die. Yeah, like he really <laughs> didn't care. He's like, yo, I just, I just want to help. Yeah, he like, said, I, I stopped taking my medicine. I'm really just going to peace out this motherfucker. Said, I, I got, what, 99 days? Something? Yeah. Yeah. Say, yeah, it's clip. You know, I'm a peace out this motherfucker, so we we cooling, bro. Like, let's just the get fact, it done. The fact that he pulled up out the window was like, I have cancer. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> low key. He, <laughs> he sure as hell he did, did not care. He said, damn, bro, I got lethal cancer. <laughs> damn. I ain't gonna let that shit stop he me. said, this shit going crazy though. He said, hey, I'm gonna help y'all or nah, I'm smoking this. <laughs> That's low key ignorant said, as you fuck. Got, now you I think got about me it. in heaven though, right? Like, <laughs> right. <laughs> like, he said, "If you become God, I'm cool though, right?" He said, I'm good. Ah, oh, yeah. He said, "This shit hidden." <laughs> <laughs> like you got cancer and shit. He's posted up with this thing. He said, "Damn, bro, I got lethal cancer." I don't know really know where it came from though, but shit. <laughs> <laughs> That's actually crazy. Shout out to dude. He's funny as fuck. I feel like he's going to be a good addition to the team though. Yeah. Did we meet his angel? He was by himself, right? No, we haven't met his angel. What uh class is he? Do we know? I know he has wings, I want but does he also have arrows? I want to say special rank, but I might be wrong. He can't be special rank. It can't. Oh be. wait, yeah, no, he could be, but I feel like special rank is when you have all three. Yeah, so he could be. But we special don't know rank if he has all three. Yeah. All we saw was his wings. Yeah, and we know that he shot people with red arrows. Oh yeah, so he has to be at least second. Yeah, I thought that was. I thought that was first. No, nah, first is just wings. Second oh. is wings and red arrow, and then third is special. And they oh, have, I uh, thought it was the other way. I thought it was second ones only have one, first ones have two, and then special ranks have all three. No, nah, it goes up. I think it's one, two, special. I think. Uh, uh, yeah, I thought it was two, one, special. You could it, be right, but I'm pretty sure. Because I've never heard, well... Yeah, I guess isn't that how it works in the army? It's like second class soldiers are higher than first class, or... No I idea to keep it a stack with you. I don't know I, shit about the army, bro. Yeah, me neither. <clears throat> yeah, I, I don't know nothing about the army. I'm glad I'm not there, though. Um, no offense to niggas who are <laughs> in the army, but that's not for me. I'm cool on that. That just does not seem like the vibe. Yeah, not fun. What would you do if you had arrows and uh, wings? Red, white, and wings? What you need the white one for? What do I need the red one for? The white one for. Killing niggas. Kill niggas. The fuck is y'all killing niggas for? Why the fuck not? No, I'm just playing. <laughs> I mean, if that's you know what y'all want, but you know I keep it on me. Yeah, I'm, <laughs> I was about to low key. I might you had a problem. Ah, uh, I don't You're like feel yo. Like what I are you doing? Right don't worry about it. Like, I don't feel like I would need the white one, but the wings would be busting. Red arrows would be fire too, because you could really run up some cash. And you could do that with the white arrow too. <laughs> Nah, because niggas don't know to be scared. You just putting your hand in their face like, hey, give me some money. No, man. Yeah, yeah, no, not not until I turn blast this homie. Yeah. <laughs> oh. I'm like, I could definitely Bro. run up a bag. Yeah, with that. You're just going to kill them and take the money. I could just kill an animal. What is that going to do? <laughs> if I say, hey, yo. <laughs> if I say, hey, yo, run up my bag. And he's like, no. And then I put my hand out and the rabbit dies. They're going to be like. What? <laughs> I guess. <laughs> yeah, nigga. I'm gonna look at. I'm not a fucking rabbit. 
<laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Try again. <laughs> <laughs> like, I would have looked at you. You would have smoked that rabbit and be like, all right, nigga. <laughs> you could just kill that nigga and rob him. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, That's like, the best way to do it. Now, yeah. if you just look at his homie and you murder his homie, then he like, oh, shit, he killed a human. Like, mm. shit. But if that rabbit dog, I would just look like. <laughs> you kill a squirrel and be like, bro, that bitch was killed a dog on his I'm last like, legs. Did my dog eat chocolate, nigga? Like, I'm going I'm not go, I'm gonna not think it's you. Yeah, low key. You look at my dog, you do this, and my dog dies, nigga. I'm going to be like, uh, what the fuck just happened? <laughs> That's actually That's hilarious. Yo. Shout out Metro Poly, man. No, I want to see what else he got He got going for him. A lot of niggas, <laughs> a lot of niggas really hate Metro Poly, man. I feel like I'm in the oh, minority yeah. being team Metro Nah, he Poly. ran it up. I mean, he's he's a pretty cool villain. Hey, until <coughs> them niggas start working harder than him, I'm going to have to be team Metro Until Poly. he turns into a creepo. And he ain't done nothing even creepy yet, so. He flew in and stole that little girl. <laughs> That's what creepy. Uh, he, yeah. he was out. trying to win. He said, he was trying to win, nigga. They, <laughs> they was going to do the same shit. Shoot him with the right arrow. He, I'm faster. Ugh. He said, boy, the second you see one, you don't. He was like, you hit them up with the arrow. For? I'm fuck with him. Metro Poly be on his P's and Q's, bro. And his homie was, nah, wait. His homie was kind of a creep mode. He was like, hey, y'all, trying, you trying to go girl watching? Yeah, I'm like, I do not fuck with no, that was, nigga. Excuse me, nigga? Like, trying to watch girls. He said, what would you do if you was God? Mm, I'd probably kill all the ugly girls. I was... Whoa, nigga! Like that was intense. That's a plot point. <laughs> That's <laughs> intense. He said, "If there's a single ugly chick, she's gone." That is intense, nigga. He said, <sighs> "You could be Edo and just kill an animal." <laughs> 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 He's gonna kill an animal. <laughs> Whereas that nigga's killing ugly girls. That's true. Right. And then he said, I'm going to kill every nigga more <laughs> handsome than me, too. Like, that oh, nigga that was, was really wildin'. <laughs> That's sick, nigga. He's valid. He said, then the other nigga was like, nah, bro, you can't do that because you killed me. But he said, yeah, you right. I was, nigga, what? He said, yeah, nah, good hey, point. He knew he was ballin'. He knew he was like that. Yeah, I guess he was just fucking with Metro Poly. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> he was fucking with Metro He's Poly, like, man. You know what, Metro Poly, man, I do got you. Like, that, Right. <laughs> he said, but that would kill me. He said. Damn, you is handsome as hell. We good, bro. All right, don't worry. Everyone else. <laughs> also, is his sister... He said he wants to bring people back from the dead. But his sister was frozen. Is she not dead yet? She's or dead. They froze her instead of burying her. I'm pretty sure she's dead. Who was that on top of the... How did she die? Nigga, she was frozen. That's how she died? No, no, that's a different person. That was on top of that building. Yeah, that I, wasn't his sister. Oh, I thought that was his sister. No, no, no. Metro Poly Man gave wings to a psychopath. He gave wings and uh, arrows to a psycho. No, no, he didn't even give him arrows. I'm going to say no way he, he had, had arrows. Knife. He had a knife. Yeah. yeah, and gave wings, and that that's what happened. That's how that person died. Uh, the person that he walked into the room and was standing in front of us at happy yeah, birthday. That's his sister. I would assume that would be his sister. Yeah. But I'm, my question is, is she dead? Or did they freeze her so she wouldn't die? I'm assuming she's dead because he said he wants to bring people back from the dead. And why is she frozen? So that he can preserve the body to bring it back from the dead. But how did he know that he was going to become a God candidate? He's a smart nigga. Nigga, that ain't some shit you can figure out. You can he be smart. You figured, ain't that smart. Might nigga. not have figured it out, but he could have guessed. Oh, maybe he was like, maybe I'll think of a way to save yeah. her later on. Yeah. I guess. I thought he, they were on some Walt Disney shit. And they yeah, was like, they yo. on the Walt Disney. Froze his head and left it. <laughs> yeah, it was like, yo, freeze this motherfucker. And then later on, we'll be good on some Dr. Stone shit. Like, just like, I'm going to think three steps ahead of a motherfucker. Yeah. Yeah. But. I was fucking with this episode heavy. I fuck with Metro Poly, man. I fuck with Platinum, and I fuck it with Mariah and uh, Old Girl. What's her name? That one's not Nessa? No, Nessa's the angel. No, his shorty. His friend? Oh. Suki? Saki? Yeah, it's like Saki or something. I want to say it's Saki. Yeah. Something like that. But yeah, I'm not really fucking with them. They not getting it done. Me I'm fucking with shit. the new nigga, the green nigga. I'm He's like getting shit later. done. Huh? I think I'm going to like them later. Hopefully. I know I'm going to like them later. Mariah not that smart. Well, we ain't I just seen like this him costume, do nigga. shit yet, though. 
is that's just, the problem. He's, he's that's the problem. He's literally been hard stuck in every situation. It's literally like, all right, Metro Poly Man pulls up. All right, we're going to have to wait because I don't know what this nigga looks like. All right, boom. Then Metro Poly Man's like, yo, link up. Y'all know who y'all are. He pull up. And then starts murking niggas. What what are you supposed to do? Get in the way? Yeah, I'm like, he was, he was smart <laughs> enough to conceal his like, identity this whole time. So Not really. He got caught by uh, new nigga, costume nigga. I mean, true, but he's been smart enough to hide it from Metro Poly Man this whole time. Barely. And he's still barely. alive. Like, barely. Hey, as long as he's still alive. That's Shit. a dog. I guess. I still want to find out why um his friend wanted to kill herself. Who? His friend. The girl. Oh, we yeah, still don't know why yeah. she was gonna kill herself. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, I want to know what that is. But yeah, she definitely was going through something. Yeah, I guess we'll find out more about that later. Um, that's pretty much everything I have, though. Unless y'all got something else for anime, I'm trying to think. I feel like I'm forgetting something. Oh, Borto's going crazy. Are you watching the? Uh, I, I got revived as an aristocrat or whatever. Is it good? Uh, I thought we were going to start watching it. Did you? No. Me either. All right. All right. No. Okay. Well, so what? Okay. Let's <laughs> let's make it clear for us and the listeners what we're going to watch for next week. I thought it was the Hitman shit. Were you going to watch the Hitman shit? Yeah. I thought it was the assassin, uh, the world's greatest assassin or something gets yeah. turned into aristocrat. Is that what it is? Yeah. Yeah. Are, I don't know. I was thinking it had a long ass. I, uh, yeah, I can, ass. I can tell you the name. That sounds kind of ass. I heard it was bussing. I heard they got a new um, Crunchyroll original. Uh, let's see. There's It's like Faina the zombie princess? No. Are you okay? No, I'm not watching that. Why not? It looks stupid. What? He said no. I saw that shit on Adult Swim, and I was like, this looks dumb as hell. But Crunchyroll two for two off originals. Tower of God and God of High School. I'll check it they out. Ain't that, that yet. That looks dumb as shit. They ain't missed yet. So, oh, the world's finest assassin gets reincarnated as an aristocrat. Oh, that don't sound that as good as ass, I thought it would. Huh? But I'm, I'm going to watch it, but it sound ass. It's a bad name. Like, I don't want to watch somebody not become an assassin. Yeah, <laughs> I'd rather watch the world's no, greatest aristocrat gets reincarnated as an assassin. assassin. That's hard. Little, yeah. But the other way around seems kind of subpar. I can't lie to you. I don't know. Aristocrats be doing some shady shit. Yeah, but not like a hitman. Yeah. What's the zombie princess one? <laughs> it's a pirate yes. princess. Pirate Nigga, princess. that sound way better. It's Fena the pirate princess. Nigga, that's hard. No. What you hating on? I mean, I'll gladly check it out, but... You know. All right, we gonna watch Fena the pirate princess and the aristocrat shit for next week. So if y'all watching that... Go ahead, watch that shit, and we'll talk about that next week. I think that's all I got for anime, unless y'all got anything else. Borto going crazy, tuning exams coming soon. We about to find out who everyone's battling. It's going to be good, bro. Tournament art. Yeah, it's going to be good. And I know something dumb is going to happen. Something dumb is going to happen because niggas can't never finish no tuning exams in that show. <laughs> niggas ain't never finished the tuning exam without getting attacked. I swear. So hopefully they figure out what the fuck they doing so we can really uh, get into this shit. Because I want to see some good ass fights. And I know not everybody from Team 7 is going to make it. Because the way they're doing it isn't like last time where it's um, tournament style. Yeah, It's literally half. Like I say there's 12 people in it. I think six people are going to fight the other. Like side by side. They're, like they cut it in half. And if you win your one battle. You're tuning. I was about to say, yo, so this is the all-out brawl? Like, no, an all-out brawl. I thought you said it's six on six. Like, no, nah, if it was an all-out brawl, Team 7, there's no chance they lose. <laughs> Literally. Everyone keeps saying, like, damn, I hope I don't go up against nobody from Team 7. Everybody like, yo, you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. As long as I don't go up against them Team 7 niggas. The only motherfuckers who are okay with going up against them, the the Inoshika Cho, Cho or Chocho and Enogen are like, all right, I think we could do some shit here. But everybody else like, man, if I go up against Team 7, it's over with, nigga. Mitsuki just seems like the out-of-place person. Like, I don't feel like he's going to become a Chunin. If Mitsuki don't become a Chunin, some fuck shit happens. 
Mitsuki is the strongest nigga there. The only way I see Mitsuki not becoming a Chunin is if he fights Boruto and they going to use Boruto's plot armor. If Mitsuki fight anybody else, he got no chance of losing. No, nah, I still think I still when it's over something where it's like title based, I think the main character is just at risk as yeah. everybody else. But That's Boruto's true. gonna Boruto's gonna be a Chunin. I can feel it. He's gonna have to be. They've been putting it too much like He's hyping himself up like he's talking to his dad. Like I'm gonna do this for but you. But that's the perfect reason to fail. He's not gonna like, fail. That, he that failed is, already. <laughs> he already failed. He, he already fumbled the again. bag. He's not gonna do yeah, it. Yeah, he can't fumble twice. He's not gonna fumble it again. He go. Boruto is going to be a tuning. Mitsuki though. I feel like you're more likely to fumble one. after you fumble once. Nah, nah, not in the anime. You never know. Not nah, in I this feel like, anime. I feel like Chocho and Sarda are gonna fight each other. They set that shit up a little too much. At the end of the episode, like, Chojo had finished training, and they talked, and she was like, you're the only person I could talk to about this stuff. And they were like, yeah, we in this bitch together. We both going to become Chunin. And then it faded out, and I'm like, yeah, they not does, they not both becoming Chunin. Does Choji's wife have any, like, powers? Well, I say power. Uh, it's Katarui. The girl who beat the fuck out of Naruto? Yeah, what did she do? The black girl? She got hands. I know that. I don't know what else she got. She got the motherfucking paws on. So it. Chocho really only has like expansion jutsu. She only uses expansion jutsu, but most of them only use one of their parents' powers anyway. The only motherfucker who uses both of their parents' jutsu is Inojin. Yeah, I was about to say. I thought Inojin uses the mind transfer and the scroll. He the only one. Uh, Everybody else like, um, fuck, she could die. He only uses shadows. I mean, does I? Uh, I, yeah, I guess he, that's not really a jutsu. I was thinking Sarada uses lightning and strength, but yeah, but Sakura ain't got no jutsu. Yeah, her only jutsu are healing jutsu, and Sarada don't heal. Well, it's the amazing chakra control that uh, that was what uh, Sakura shit was. Yeah, but that's what I'm saying. Her, her jutsu would be like yeah. medical ninjutsu. Yeah, and Sarada doesn't use any medical ninjutsu, which is dumb. She definitely should be learning medical ninjutsu. Yeah, I just realized why doesn't uh. Boruto know any like trigrams because he don't have a Byakugan. Ah, true. And you can only use that if you have the Byakugan. Ah, Himawari I'm sure got that bitch. Himawari is probably gonna <laughs> learn <laughs> the trigrams. Yeah, she cold with it. She took out Naruto, nigga. That's goaded so. with one punch. Yeah, she, she one shot Karma. Naruto. One punch. and took out not only took out Naruto, cook, took out Kurma, nigga. Yeah. That's some crazy shit. That's goaded. I'm fucking with him or him Wari. She came up, she put that shit on him. Yeah, put them <laughs> niggas to sleep. Scraped. Hinata walked in the crib like, oh my God, what kind of monster took out what a Naruto? What threat? Right. <laughs> what? And then she see her daughter. The whole time it's her daughter this like. Past a Hokage level threat. Like, we getting this shit done. She was coming for Boruto. So what did he do? He like broke her doll or something? Yeah, he ripped the head off of her uh, teddy bear. He was like, yo, shit, I'm sorry. She and got to ain't try no sorry, to nigga. We're after the Byakugans, I was, nigga, you better run. Bro. Yeah. Run. And then he, once he saw her take out his dad, he was like, oh, it's cooked for me. Locked Damn. on and cracked that nigga. He was like, it's over with. She, huh. And then she want to talk about, I don't know if I want to become a ninja. You cold. You best believe. You don't have no choice. <laughs> You one punch the I whole will Kage. drag you to the tuning exam. Yeah. And then Naruto and Hinata talk about, it's okay. You don't have to. No. You better become one. You ain't got no choice. All right. Fuck you mean. But that's pretty much all I got. Um, Y'all ready? End it out? Yeah. We going to end it out too. My boy, Real Liddy. My guy dropped the song. No way. Yeah, my guy dropped the song. He's a demon. And he sent that bitch to me. And it was low key. Good as shit. I fucked with it. It's called Can I Sleep? For those who don't know, he was our first podcast fan. He's our number one fan. He done had our back for the long time. He dropped the song and was like, yo, can you? He was like, I'm not asking for song of the week, but you know, if you could listen to it, give me some feedback, that would be really awesome. I listened to it and was, I'm not going to say I wasn't expecting it to be good. But uh, I was expecting it to be like, uh, you know, you feel me? I don't want a lot of motherfuckers try to make music and not that many end up making good music. And I was like, damn, this shit's actually pretty good. So this is Can't Sleep by my boy Real Liddy. We out this bitch. Thank y'all for checking you. out another episode. We out. Peace. Peace. Wait.
Oh shit! Before before we <laughs> okay, go, what you got? Like, comment, subscribe. Yeah, do that yes, shit too. True. Do all that, and now we out. Peace. Wait. Oh. <laughs>